So we're going to hop right back into the game itself. Yeah, there was kind of an interesting issue when we went to go boot it up. So somehow, at some point, one of my game speed settings got adjusted. I don't... I never touched this. And all of it was wrong. So I will... I don't even remember what these lasts were, to be honest with you. I would have to go back and look at the other stream. The game was set to like 80% and then... 89% or not 89 90% so it was not running at full speed no matter what so I'm not really sure why that happened but now it's behaving fine so anyway I was looking at the quest guide uh where I wasn't entirely sure which one I wanted to try first I could go back to the lost wreckage that one I'm really surprised we didn't get last time. I guess we technically took a damage when we ended combat or something stupid. I'm not entirely sure how to do the 60 direct damage, because I imagine that excludes AoE, so none of the shockwave stuff. And then it's like, how do we hit enough targets that they live and I'm able to do this? And the only thing I can think of is a boss. So... I'm not entirely sure. I mean, looking at it, if I were to defeat the Guardian of the Glacial Library, dealing 60 damage, I technically could get both in one try. But how I can do enough, it, it's not coming to me. Again, unless it, unless one AoE hitting everything like five or six times counts. But the way I read the challenge, that's not how I would interpret that. If AoE counts as direct damage, then I know how to do this challenge. If it if it doesn't, I'm not sure without a boss. Because nothing would live long enough for me to do this and still have action points. So I guess we'll see with that eventually. But I guess since the game ordered my quest log randomly, I guess I'll do the Lost Wreckage again with full health. Which I thought we developed a deck last time for. So we'll save this ridiculous deck somewhere. Oh, we had some of our early decks in here. Hmm. Get rid of one of these. Did I not save my super deck? That's kind of close to what I want. Maybe I'll load this and take a look. Yeah, this seems to have the harmful blesses. This looks like the one I was using before. Because I didn't really care about the other one so much. How many ooze mixtures did we have in this one? Let's find out. Rolex stand we definitely need. Pile driver was really good. I'm willing to put another pile driver in there just because. I don't feel like doing this so. So regen three and retaliate one. I don't really want to get hit and kill with retaliate. That's actually a problem. I think I didn't take the ale cards because I just decided the others were better. Yeah, this I think this had literally every other damage type though. Yeah, it even had Earthbind. Magma Boat was risky, but when we had to use it, it was really good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one more Vine Thorns in here because there are a lot of things that care about Root. And then... I don't really like straight up healing. Honestly, Tesla Claw was kind of sick. I'm, I'm gonna put in more of those. That way I don't have to reset my deck as often. Actually, you know what? I remember. I remember, actually. There were a lot of enemies immune to root. I'm gonna remove the root there. I'm just gonna save over the deck. So I still have two ales in here. 
I mostly have it that if it gets discarded, I auto heal. It's pretty much its only purpose. Okay. Now that the game is functioning as intended, continue forward. Though I still haven't unlocked everything here. I might as well start doing. So that's the only purpose of our money, is to just kind of send it off at this point. So by the time I complete all the challenges, I'll probably have all the trinkets, if I decide to complete all the challenges. But yeah, this challenge is much harder than it should be, mostly due to the fact that it's oops all flying. If it was any other enemy type, it would, be, it would have been easy. Alright, so we got a lot of cash back. I'm also curious if we could get a better relic. Like, doing one damage to everything in the room is really good, but it doesn't have a lot of synergy with not taking damage. Effects inflicted, bestowed, or suffered increase their value by one. Is that useful for me? To have longer root, potentially? But it says... Maybe? Maybe that's useful. Let's save. I'm gonna close the game, because it's lagging a bit. We're gonna load it one more time. So yeah, there isn't like a... So far, despite having like all but like nine keepsakes that are in the normal collection, I haven't really felt one that is like really good for this challenge. I think that's also what's making it more annoying than it should be. Because I, I don't super want a lot of card draw necessarily. Oh. Alright, we're getting rid of Dragon Tone. That card is literally garbage. I'm just getting rid of it. What a bad... What a bad card. It sounds so cool, you inflict Crush, but then it stuns you. Like, in, like I, if it didn't stun you, it would be a good card, but like I can't have it stun me. Okay, we gotta get rid of Magma Gate, because there's too many enemies that are just straight up immune to it. Um, is there anything else I could get? Plasma game might be useful. I'll put some of those in there. We need more ranged attacks. Magma Moat is actually super critical. Even though the magma doesn't work on enemies, it does push them back one. So Retaliate, I think I was sleeping on it a little bit, but it's still not like the game changer that I needed to be. I'm gonna get rid of Ooze Mixer. I feel like that card was kind of dead in our hand most of the time. Honestly, Vine Thorns also wasn't that good. I might have to get rid of it for this challenge. Crossbow is okay. Blinding Palm to stun a target. Interesting. Maybe. I wish the uh, shield worked on explosions, or else shield would be good. Shield's also kind of bad. I don't really want to enroot myself. That's just insanity. Tether web provides free pathing to allies. Inflict one route to ground at enemies that move over it. Maybe I just need more mobility skills to deal with the enemies. I'm kind of thinking it. I'm just seeing if there's something else that is useful. Builder's Drive could be good if I want to dupe Teslas. I have an okay amount of gizmos. Marsh so far has been really good because it's conditionless root. Regen Thorns was surprisingly useful. Spin web might be okay. Pile driver is also okay. I guess I could add a pile driver for more AoE. Even if it doesn't do like a lot of damage, just the fact that it exists is fine. Frozen Meteor was good. I just don't have a lot of those. Heroic Stand is crazy good. I'm just not in love with the rest of our cards. Uh I don't really want to inflict wound. Do I want to run Fatal Error to use it to stun enemies? Mm, not 
really. I could try Catapult, but I don't have really high hopes for it. I mostly need to do range damage. Let me take more Crossbow, and I'm gonna try this build, see how it feels. I'm worried I'm kind of diluting the card pool a bit. Where's it at? Most of these are okay. I could probably get rid of Ale, but... We'll see. Yeah, now the game is behaving correctly. So I'm gonna try this again, and hopefully we just don't get, like, as I said before, triple sniper, ghost BS. I want to see mostly, like, skeletons or Nautilus that shoot with delayed shots or stuff like that. Not great. So you're gonna hit over here, so what I should probably do is... One, two. Place it over here-ish. I could place it here. I guess, yeah, I guess this is fine. Then it puts it in range for next turn. Then it'll zap one of them early, and I don't need to worry about it. And if they're stupid enough to shoot it, they die. They somehow didn't target it. That's actually impressive. Dodge. Like Tesla, Tesla like single-handedly carries this build. It's so good compared to everything else that this thing gets. It's kind of unfortunate how much better it is compared to every other card. Like it it doesn't even need to combo, it's just that good. I have a lot of retaliates, which is more useful versus the snipers. Um I don't really know what to do in this scenario. I guess I gotta end my turn and hope it moves towards me. Okay, that should work, I think. Because then he should go left-right, not up-down. Okay, there we go. Manipulated the AI, we did it. Uh, absolutely not. I think that might fail the challenge, and I don't feel like finding out if that's not the case. Don't care about that. Where, uh, do I pay for the torch? I would if I had money. Revealing the dungeon is tempting, but honestly, deleting their stealth with the one damage is so much more important <laughs> for this challenge. Um, could stack retaliate and regen. So even if he hits me here, he's going to hurt himself. I think that's good. And then I can regen two. The other one's going to teleport first, right? And hit the other guy. That's good. So I could root them in place. And then I could also root you with this. Yeah, let's do this. Into this, maybe? Into this. There we go. I think that's the right play. Wait, that hit me from there? Oh, my bad. Well, I still gotta retaliate, so this is fine. We mostly just... Oh, I didn't- I did not mean to walk forward. I was trying to check his range. Um, I mostly just need to make sure that I can kill this guy this turn. So we're gonna do something like this, maybe? Did that bait him in a good enough position for me to kill him? I think it did. I just go up here and wait a turn? 
I'm gonna hold on to the other regen thorns for now. So no matter what this other ghost does, it's basically over. And the other thing, I should regen up to 10, and then I can melee for the kill here. Oh, that also counts... Oh, I see. Fine, then I will... Oh, it's not going to allow me to do that. That is unfortunate, actually. Curiosity, does this work? It does. Okay, so we can ignore charm. Cool. Okay, we found the exits. That's good. Avalanche is decent because, it, again, it's our get off me. But as I mentioned before, it seems to, like, instantly, like, placing it there. So I gotta be really careful. Maybe because the game was lagging, it was delaying the accept or something weird. It's possible that's why it was behaving there. Because now it's not happening. Like, I can see that I can place it immediately. But maybe when it was lagging, it didn't do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's... Do I need... Frost Wave is not useful here. Retaliate is okay. I mostly just need to make sure the guy at the bottom doesn't move. But I don't have a good way of rooting him and then killing him. If I had two marshes, which is why I want to hold on to them, then it's just a full screen two damage attack, which is somewhat useful, and it stops them from moving. Which is more important than you think it is with Warden, because if they move with Warden, it's so sad. You just get destroyed completely. Um, I have no long range attacks, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to move in a way that will slowly get me closer, and I'm going to cycle a card. So I'm going to preemptively heal 2 HP at some point. I need to draw a better card here. Immunity is interesting, but I need something else. Where are all my gizmos? I put like 20 in the deck. <laughs> right, chat? Crossbow, Tesla coil, pile drivers. The gates. And this, there's a lot in my deck. I drew one earlier in about 12 cards. Unfortunate. So I could do one damage here if I want to. Question is, do I want to? Maybe. Let's give herself immunity. Cycle this card early. Because he's going to explode on me, and that's going to help me deal with the ghost, which is what I want. Then all we need to do is deal damage and then maybe get close enough to kill with the AoE attack here, depending on how he moves. Yeah, now I can use the frost to deal the final blow. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So that time we were mindful of the splash damage. We were rewarded. Get money for future floors, because sometimes they have services that I want. Uh, sure, we can reset our cards. I did use an immunity card. It would be nice to put that back in the deck, as well as the Tesla. The retaliates I would like to have stayed out, but I think that the Tesla it by itself is worth cycling back into the deck if I drew it. I'm going to step on the quill so it stops asking me. Okay. Not the best. But we do get a free damage on everything here. Uh... If I move it here... Actually, where are you targeting me with your bomb? If I move it here... It can hit the enemy for free, and then maybe I could go deal with the lamb. Yeah. That'll work. So I'm going to have to take some damage here, but we have a regen, so I'm not that worried. 
The enemy down there can be very annoying for sure because he spawns and he is projectiles. Two things I definitely don't want to see. So you're going to shoot me this turn, right? So then I don't need to worry about the clam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back over. So I baited him successfully. Oh, that didn't... That didn't kill the clam. It just... Oh, did it just do wound? That is so unfortunate. I didn't realize that didn't damage. I thought it did. Uh, well... Hmm... If I'm convinced he's not going to move, I can kill him where he is. None of them seem to be doing projectiles, which is good. So I could do that as kind of a cheeky snipe attack. You're immune to... To root? It looks really weird, because the word immune is overlap with disease for five turns. If I can avalanche slam him, he dies. I'm gonna kill this and think about this. So I think we gotta move here or I'm gonna take damage. So Baleful Bomb might not do damage, maybe it just bleeds. It's something that I've always dodged, so I've never super paid attention to it, to be honest. So if it doesn't hurt the gizmo, we know it doesn't do damage. Oh, it can still activate it. Oh, so it did zero and still activated. Very interesting. Today we learned. I really need to get another card, though. What I'm going to do is this. I'm hoping to get another marsh because then the room dies. One marsh, this whole room dies. Come on, marsh card. Believe in the heart of the cards, chat. We got denied. <laughs> that was not the marsh card. So sad. Right, we're going to move a lot of spaces here. Sadly, because I didn't realize the bomb didn't do damage, uh, we ended up with a, a live clam. Because I thought the baleful bomb did damage. But now I know it doesn't. So maybe I don't have to dodge it? Guess we'll find out. You need to die, though, for real. Unambiguously, please perish. So we have a regen card in our hand. I'd like to use a weaker heal. So if we have the one where we retaliate and do whatever, it'd be nice. Or if we just drew Marsh, then I can end this fight instantly. But it's all up to whatever the game gives me. I got another heal card, which is interesting. So Pile Driver is just kind of like a long-range melee attack for the most part, but it occasionally will let me insta-kill an enemy if they're against the wall. That's just how I view Pile Driver. It's just literally better Raider. Of course, none of them are grounded. Or else I could get that extra hit point. Might be worth taking the warp next turn, just to get close to the clan. Oh, he put the sleep pile there. Now it's not worth it. That sucks. Uh, what I can do is get rid of Avalanche Slam, I think. If they hit me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to regen. Them getting stunned is actually more useful for me anyway. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this to stun him. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna do this to stun him, then put this here. Put this... here. And then put this one here. I think that's decent coverage. Then I can regen on my own next turn. Oh, I still have AP. Um, what are you doing this turn? Are you just moving? Sleep blithing. Okay, let's go over here then. So 
This is fine. I should get three kills here. Thank you, Avalanche Slam. You're one of my only ranged attacks in my entire deck. It's just really awkward to use. Would have preferred a weaker heal here, but I think I'm gonna have to Midnight Oil in a moment. So you should come to me. Are any of you sleep glyphing? That's all I'm worried about. Okay, none of you sleep glyphing. I'm gonna end my turn. We're gonna burn one of our better heals, but we're gonna keep our full heal. Which I think is a better keep. So you're dead. Let's burn this. Oh. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And we're gonna move a little bit more. So the, the battle's over at this point. It's just I don't have a fast way of clearing things since I'm playing Warden. So I know they're gonna move two. So I'm gonna move closer. Well, we came with two gizmos for next area. That's pretty good. Potentially, if everything is close to me and they're ground-based, I might be able to get a pseudo marsh on one of them. I'm gonna choose not to move. Actually, I'm gonna move now. Set my turn. Just in case something weird happens where he targets where the other guy used to be. Uh, we're gonna end our turn. There's no reason to do anything. GG. But it's like, it, it definitely plays very slow with Warden in this room compared to like if you were Traveler. You're just at the mercy of the cards. Ooh, interesting setup. What do I want to do in this room? I can move him close and then bully him hard. I think that's the right play. I think you need to die unambiguously. Yeah. So these things have a delayed projectile. I can react to these. Once I'm down to one, I can manipulate them very easily and we get to draw another card here, which could be big. Ooh, free damage to everything near me, maybe. Sadly, as I said before, these these things don't work on flying enemies, so Earthbind is not useful in this fight. I do have Crossbow. I prefer not to Tesla Claw if we can avoid it. If we're really desperate, we could do it to end the fight. It just depends on what the enemy does here. Yeah, let's move. So we will very gradually whittle them down. And it all just... Oh, that was a good movement for us, potentially. Depending on what they do here. Well, that's good. So we are very gradually wearing them down. So they're moving somewhat favorably to us at the moment. Once it's down to one, there's basically nothing they could do. Oh, that time that was unfavorable movement. Don't place them two tiles south of me. Okay, you didn't. Good job. So now we're back to basically where we were before. I'm just gonna end my turn. Please move towards me. Actually, you know what? You only have one health. I was gonna say, as long as you don't go over there, we're fine. So I could do one, two, boop. Uh, it's, it's now officially over. I just have to go reach the other one. Although the other one is surrounded by more single tiles, which is actually a problem. Hmm. If he goes right here, this is actually a problem. Hmm. I guess I could do a little hit and run strategy, maybe. Maybe this will work. I don't think he'll like this, though. Yeah, he won't like that. I guess in a way I made him go the way I wanted him to go, so this is fine. I... What is the AI gonna do if I end my turn here, out of curiosity? Let's find out together, Chad. Will he go left-right? Oh, he just moved in front of me? Uh, I don't think that's how you get away from me. Spoilers. Beta Star is not the rare card I'm looking for, that's unfortunate. AI kind of derp there. Demon is also a potential threat to the run. That's a card we have to take very seriously. So we can stop him from teleporting to us with Marsh, but we need a good plan to kill him. This is one of those times where I think it's kind of worth uh, spamming things like Crossbow. Yeah, I think this is worth it.
And then we can Tesla next turn, I think. I don't care if I get Charmed here, because it doesn't do damage. Ooh, he teleported over there to hit me. Hmm, that's kind of a problem. I need you to chill out. So I can move up one space and dodge the melee. Let's go do that. So we're going to paralyze everybody. So as long as I move up one, we're fine. And then what I could do is put this here, and this will activate the Tesla. Or I could move it here to maybe kill the other character more consistently. It shouldn't target the demon. If it targets the demon, I'm calling shenanigans. Oh, it's immunity wore off anyway. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter then. Cool. Alright, so I can now get something to help me with the demon here, potentially. Ooh, that's huge, actually. Doing one damage to everything makes there's one less viable target to hit. This is big, actually. I got rid of her. Now I can zap. I can put him pretty low. Gargoyle Morph might troll me, I'm not sure. Although right now I don't know if he can hit me, unless he can teleport above there. But I think what I'm going to do from a safety perspective... Oh, I drew the card I wanted anyway. I could use Harmful Blast if I need to. Wow, that hit literally everything but the target that I needed it to hit. That was kind of sad. Um, I think you're going to hit me. Or you're going to teleport to the other tile. Let me move over here then. Okay. I don't care if you hit me. I wanted to bless. What are you going to do this turn? Okay, you're going to teleport strike. I'm going to go like over here. So I want to use a Harmful Bless anyway. It's not good to have, like, three in the hand. So this is fine. I would have preferred to have hit this target, but I think I could do something like this. And that gets rid of one of his options. So he has to teleport to the other target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down one so I can escape him next turn. So enjoy your immunity as I go out of your range. So I felt like that was worth it. So no matter what he does here, I think he's just open. Yeah, he's done. Alright, so we have an immunity one. We have the ability to damage things. We have a root, which is a heal, and a full heal, and an area heal. So this feels like a really good hand to go for the no damage challenge. Okay, this is fine. All I need to know is, does Baleful Bomb damage me? I don't think it does. We're going to do something like this. So I think that's the best I could really ask for, to be honest. Oh, unless I have to strike it for it to work. Oh, I misunderstood. Um, in that case... I misunderstood. I thought that was automatic. Because the, uh, the magma mode is automatic. I guess that when you have to strike it... I kind of wish it told me that. Oh, it says when it hit. Okay, it does say in the description there. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. What to do then? I can root you in place. I think I want to do something like this. Oh, he's still able to reach me. Interesting. So that... So is it random damage? Huh, Baleful Bomb did two to me instead of zero. It's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Well, we have other means of healing at least. 
to. You're going to be on the defensive. I'm going to end my turn by going over here, I think. If I have to full heal, I will. Oh, so it's the first one damages, but the others don't. Oh, that makes more sense. Well, anyway, thank you for stepping in my zap range, idiot. And, uh, yeah, I guess we just try to heal at some point. We'll back up a space. Good to know. Okay, so first attack I do have to dodge. Subsequent attacks I do not have to dodge. That's an important distinction. Yeah, because, like, now I can properly strategize around it, because I'll know it behaves that way. Uh, I want to save my immune, too. I think... Oh, I don't have enough healing. Uh... That's kind of a problem. Hmm. I could regen... Start gaining HP. But then I need to wait. I can root you to get one extra HP. And then wait a turn. <sighs> this is so annoying. I can't kill it, or it's going to die too quickly. I'd prefer not to get immunity. <sighs> what an awkward situation to be in. I really don't want a Tesla coil. But I also can't harmful Bless, because it'll hit me with the AoE damage. This has put me in a very weird spot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think I have to retreat over here. I could make myself immune and then do damage. I'd prefer that to not be the case. Let's see if this is good enough to dodge the AoE explosion. Because you shouldn't activate. Okay, I got a safety heal just in case. Alright, so now I could just be immune and full heal. Because I don't think this regen is fast enough. Oh, I can use it. Oh, I can use it immediately. That's true. I think I want to do that. Um, so that'll cost an AP. Okay, I don't like doing this, but I'm just going to make myself immune and walk forward. Let's not overthink it. I still have AoE. I have a good heal. The rest of my abilities are pretty good. So as long as I'm immune here, we're good. And I can put those cards back in the deck regardless, so pretty happy with that. Give me the torch, please. Where's the exit? Right, it's up to left one. Sadly, we didn't get to put our cards back in, but we know we're going to get it when we get to the end of the floor. So there's not too much left. What is this room? Game, please. Well, we killed the skeleton, at least. We have two full heals. I think we have to Tesla. The question is, where can we place it? That is such an... That is such an unfair bomb placement, chat. That is unfair. There's nothing I can do to avoid damage this turn. Wow. Because the ghosts will line up with me if I do this. Stuff like this chat, that's why the challenge is much harder than it should be. This stupid enemy specifically is a problem. Because it has like a million HP. Uh, what do I do to kill him quickly? I could go for the ghost kill here, maybe. Where are you aiming your bomb? Are you aiming it higher than normal? You are. So I could put the Tesla here to try to get a couple kills. I'm gonna have to take the damage, 
So I think what I need to do is just to get in a more favorable position for damage. I don't think I can avoid this. I'm going to take the damage, which is fine. That'll kill the skeleton. You're going to hit me, and that should kill the skeleton and kill the ghost. So now the question is... Okay, I think you just went in range of the Tesla, and if you did, then we're fine. Tesla is the huge MVP chat. Like, this thing is basically unkillable in the no damage challenge. Because if I don't have that, I, there's no alternative. I have literally no backup. I can't hit something that's like six spaces away with one card. It just doesn't happen. Ooh. Oh, if not for the clams, this would have been a really fun room. All right, let's get rid of you. Can I save a card? I think I can. Let's kill you. Um, I basically just want to avoid damage, but the question is... I can maybe make a target like this? Maybe that would work. So that way, no matter where it teleports, I can hit the clam or whatever is summoned from the clan. But that... Ugh, it's not a good... I'm not, I'm not fully convinced by that. I can root them to stop them from teleporting, but they're not in range of the clan right now, right? If they're within two. Maybe they are? I forget how big the teleport range is. I think it might hit the clan. It could be worth rooting them next turn. It's a shame this mushroom is in the way, because I would have loved to have just, like, wailed on this stupid thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just not going to play a card. I think that's a better choice until I can determine where the jellyfish is going to spawn, left or right. Charm doesn't matter. I'm not attacking either of these targets. All right, so it would have been in my way had I done that. And now you're going to do enough damage to kill them, presumably. So what I should be doing is something like this, maybe, to try to get through the mushroom. Because it should outlive it, and it's within range of me to do things. So as long as these are not directly against me, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to choose to end my turn here without doing anything else. So let's slowly get through the mushroom. So she's still in range of the clam, which is really good for me. Because that basically trolls the clam. And I can maybe kill the clam with crossbow. We got double marsh for a harder room. Love to see it. Charm is as... The fact that Charm doesn't do damage is so huge. Like, Charm is like... That status ailment does not matter at all in this matchup. Real with you. So let's just use this to get rid of this. Just get the guaranteed kill there. Then they'll kill the spawn. Although if she teleports into the sleep cliff, that will be really funny, I'm not gonna lie. She technically has a chance to do so. So the question is, how do we kill the rest of these? I'm basically at the mercy of their teleport. Because obviously I don't want to take damage. We did one damage at the start of the room, so we can maybe kill in three hits. So it really just depends on where they teleport here. So the most I could do is like two spaces here and wait. And if they move near me, they die. If they don't move near me, we wait. So that's not near me. That's not super close to me. <sighs> 3 HP means I can't kill them without assistance. Thank you, Imperameter, for the good luck. Do I waste the Selactite? I think I do. Like it, This is a pretty low committal. It's not a usually hyper useful move, and I could get way stronger gizmos. So let's use it here, I think. So two damage saves us a movement space, and we kill her. So hopefully we draw something useful for the next room. Okay, AoE, AoE damage is huge. She lined herself up with the crossbow, which is kind of funny. So I mean, if she keeps going over there, I don't have a problem with this. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's just possibly gonna kill herself, depending on what she does. 
Oh man, I would have loved to have been within range to do something useful there. Sadly, she's going to hit the crossbow here, but it's not going to hit her since it doesn't hit point blank as we had found out the hard way. Downside, as I said before, is that... I'm at the mercy of the teleports. I can hit her once here, though, at least. So sadly, she did damage it quite heavily. But, on the flip side, she's not quite at full health anymore, either. So that should make it a bit more doable. So crossbow put in the work. That enemy is not targetable by me. That is so sad. I will attempt to dodge the charm. But again, we're at the mercy of the game. So this is the kind of thing where I'm talking about where it's like, this is a normal enemy and this is really tedious as a challenge. Come on. Nothing I could do. Chad is wondering why, if I get close, I need to hit exactly three times. Nothing I could do. I gotta wait. Nothing I could do. Gotta wait again. I have to hope she only teleports like one to two spaces, which is possible. It just, she isn't, is the problem. We're gonna go here in case she moves downwards. But I'm feeling she's probably gonna go away from us. Yeah, so there, I still don't have enough damage. This is so sad. I just want to hit her once. So even if I move... Yeah, so even if I move upwards, there's there's nothing I can do. She needs to stop being at the top of the map. If she goes to the far right, we're good. If she goes to the far left, we're good. If she goes to the top, I have to just kind of wait. Please stop teleporting to the top of the map. No... Alright, I'm gonna hopefully force her into the big open area down there. Otherwise, I have to burn a card, because we're in a state where I can't advance the game. Oh, come on. I mean, she's almost there. Alright, we're gonna do this, and hopefully she cooperates. Please just teleport a space. beg of you. Teleport A space. <sighs> Chat, this is so annoying. <laughs> I can't speed this up. If she teleports more than I can move, there's nothing I can do. I have to wait again. If she had one less HP, I could kill her. But the fact that I need exactly three hits and I have to end with perfect health means that I actually don't have a solution to this. Can you please just teleport upwards? No? What a troll. And she healed herself. Alright, we need to do something, because I'm in legit the infinite. I could root her in place, but the problem now is that she's near the thing that heals her. <sighs> so annoying, chat. So if ice tiles were actually working, I could probably kill her, which also makes me sad. But sadly, they don't seem to be doing anything. Or maybe they're just for show. Alright. I will risk taking damage in a moment just to get this done. That's like almost doable. Can I kill her with the crater if it does two damage? One melee. Yeah, I think this will kill then. Fine, I'll kill her with Crater. I didn't want to, but I think the game is forcing my hand here. So if I move... Oh wait, she's at 4 HP. I didn't think about that. Um... I guess I could burst her? Yeah, let's burst her then. Sad that I'm giving up an AoE for this, but we have to. Like, this is so tedious. Alright, so we know we're gonna get straight to the exit. I can get all my cards back. I really don't care what it's trying to get me to do. I don't care. I don't care. Listen, I don't care that it's on the far left. I'm not gonna go take it. Listen. I'm not taking any risk. I don't care. <laughs> I want the challenge to be over. There we go. We got all of our cards back. Just have one more floor to do. Come on. We could do it. No more mistakes. 
Wait, why can I see the... Wait, torch reveals across multiple floors? I did not know that. Did you know that, chat? I think that's the first time this has been relevant. <laughs> this is actually huge. <laughs> Where is the exit, though? Oh my god. So we, so we have to go along the top because the treasure room would... Yeah, we would have to go along the top. Yeah, see, even Kirk didn't know. Ew! Oh, this room is atrocious. Oh, no. Um... What do I do about this? Yuck. Wow, this room really sucks. Okay, we're gonna burn the marsh here. I don't want the other guy to move at all. I could get my retaliate early if I wanted to. Let's do some damage. Yeah, we're stopping him from moving. I have a couple full heals. I might take the retaliate here. Because I think he normally poison staffs me. So I can regen through his poison staff. So I don't think there's a way to avoid this damage unless I go over a tile. I could root him, but is it worth it over the retaliate? I don't think it is. Is this this means he'll hurt himself. I'll take three dam well, it's taking three damage though. Uh maybe it is worth doing this and then moving to try not to burn all my stuff at once. Yeah, let's move over one to hopefully dodge the damage here. Did you seriously stealth? What a jerk. Alright, the other guy can't target me at all, and he's not that high in HP. I could kill the other guy with Harmful Bless, which is tempting. Are you just gonna melee? Alright, so what we're gonna do... We could gain immunity. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. That way I don't take poison damage here. The other guy is still not in range of me, so I don't need to worry about him yet. So you still can't target me, because I'm not in range. So I can melee you, melee you. Even if he heals, it doesn't really matter. Because he's got disease. So he, hook, he should hook shot over to me, which is fine. All I need to do now is heal and he dies. So this will put me basically back to full and he should die. Okay. Goodbye. Get a little extra money here. Alright, so we have two full heals, an AoE heal, and a good projectile. I see an optional challenge room. Thank you, I get out of here. Well, this room kind of sucks, but I control them, I think, a little bit. So I just need to kill the one that's in front of me, which I think I could do with this. Respawn this. And that's why the relic that does one damage is super good. <laughs> that's set up for an easy clear. Yeah, I think that's my new favorite relic, Kirk. If you're not really sure what to take, there's one that just does one damage to the whole room, and it reveals stealth, Kirk. So all those annoying stealth enemies, just nope them. And if they explode when they take damage, they just die, and they chain explode at the beginning of the room. 
I'm sure Kirk would love. Tell him to just get out of here. Yeah, if you're wondering why they're taking so much damage, look at the guy's stealths. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, it just helps. It's one less damage I gotta do as well. Uh, there is an annoyingly high amount of enemies to deal with here. Question is... I could put on Retaliate. I'm just thinking about what I want to do. I definitely want to root. Do I want to immediately commit to the pile driver is the question. I think I do. Just get rid of that problem immediately. Even if the other one slices, it takes a lot of turns to reach me. So sadly, I can't hit that target. But I can still pile driver, which makes this insanely unfair. Downside is I'm going to take a dagger here, I think. Which will kill the other skeleton. <sighs> if the fish bait wasn't so far, I would have been fine. Let's get regen and retaliate on or something. See if this works. So if we had slightly better retaliate, we could have killed the other guy. Fortunately, I can now walk forward and heartful bless them. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, that guy still has full health, that's right. Um, hmm, that's kind of a problem actually. Uh, let's do this. So he's gonna poison me potentially. Oh, he ate the other thing for healing. Oh, that's actually good for us. I don't care about that at all. If I have another AoE, I'm gonna be very happy here. Didn't. Well, sort of. Let's kill the skeletons. Don't need to worry about them anymore. Are you gonna melee? I'm gonna spawn a fish bait. And just perish. We have regen one, so even if he hurts me here, I'll be at full health. So we can see where the retaliate regen was super useful. It put the other game other guy basically in kill range. Get rid of those. Unfortunately he's now full screen. So we're gonna take a little damage here. Get a little closer, heal ourselves, and then kill them. The shame I have to use a full heal here, but I don't think I have a choice. Run under turn. I don't want to kill him here. If I had a better retaliate, I would have used it here. Let's full heal and then end him. And because we did retaliate, I could full heal and then just boop him. Boop. Potentially, we'll get our 12 cards back, which are absolutely worth recycling. Speaking of which, at no point, chat. Did I see where the exit was based off of this? It must be really fun. Oh, I found a card, rejoin line. I don't think I have that card, but that's not the card I'm looking for. Um, I could go in the mystery room. What's to the right of the rest area? Anything? What's this? No. No, we're, we're gonna beat it. I'm not, I'm not worried about dying. I'm more worried about not finding the exit. So I'm assuming all these rooms will go southward. We didn't get to restore our cards, but we have 60. I have three gizmos, an AoE heal, and a full heal. So I feel pretty good. If the mystery room below is optional... Okay, we see where the exit is. This room is kind of trash, not gonna lie. Kind of trash. Uh, we are going to Frozen Meteor you because you're going to be a big problem for us. 
Because if you escape us, you're gonna be spawning infinite damage. So you're just dead. I'm not dealing with you. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Tesla here because if they dagger me, they die very quickly. And then we'll get it started here. So Tesla is a really hard counter to this, like the knife throwers. So even if they attack me here, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna help me clear really quickly. So kick gain immunity, which isn't terrible. The problem now are the jellies are gonna take the damage that is meant for the other guy. Um Make him troll himself. Maybe this'll work. Ooh, retaliate two is actually huge here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Then I can heal next turn. Yeah, that was big, big damage. So you just took three. I need to do one more hit on him. Could root him. Oh, if this... If this barrel wasn't here, I could get the kill with the Tesla right now, but I can't due to it being there. That is so unfortunate. We have a heal at the end of the room, so I'm not worried about that. We can stall for better cards. But again, like, I'm fighting nothing but flying enemies again, which is super irritating with, like, ground-based attacks. I think I just take the damage here and kill you early. That way he dies to his own dagger throw here worth. Thank you, Crossbow. Crossbow putting in the work, as usual. So I have an AoE heal. We got another Crossbow. It's a little risky to get rid of our only heal, but I have to, I think, for card draw here. And then if I see that we're not getting good enough cards, then I have to cycle our cards, potentially. Avalanche Slam is okay. I'm really worried we only have one heal card for the final area. That could be a bit rough. How far are you going to move this turn? Okay, just two. So we're going to do two hits and then retreat no matter what. Upwards we go. Wow, they blocked each other super well on that one. Oh, we drew, oh, we drew a heal. Oh, we drew a heal. That's so huge, chat. That is so huge to draw that other heal. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I think that might lock in the win as long as I don't do something stupid. Regen gives me a lot of flexibility in case I have to tank hits from other enemies. We have three rooms to go. Two of them might not even be combat rooms. I don't want them to be combat rooms. We have a lot of cards left. So we still have like a lot of Teslas. Just, I, I don't care. I don't care where the chest is going. Look, I don't care that it's on the far left. I'm not going to choose it. Listen. Just, I just want to get to the end. What is this room? Ooh. Disgusting. Um, hmm. How do we kill this room efficiently? So I can walk up and stun, which I might have to. Yeah, this room, kind of gross, not gonna lie. There's at least a lot of things to Earthbind for healing. But the problem is... I probably need to make two spaces walk up Avalanche. I think that's my only play here. So we're gonna go... One, two. We're gonna be real careful. So you're going to be stunned. I'm going to be real careful. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one there. So that guaranteed two damage is so big for us. And we hurt the Lamia. We saw how annoying she gets when you don't do enough damage to her. So she needs to go. Like, that. that is, like, no, no doubt. The other skeleton that's moving is within range of her. 
So all we need to do now is wait for her to go, and then it's basically GG. Because remember, she does two damage here, so I do a root here, I think. So root. Melee. Get teleported, kill her? Or I could just back up a space. Yeah, actually, let's just go up a space. I want to make sure I kill these skeletons. Oh, I didn't move out of the way. That was stupid. I shouldn't move to the right. I shouldn't move to the right. We still have a heal. That's fine. It's fine. We still have a heal. She'll kill most of these. And I can pile drive the remaining ones if I need to. Yeah, that's fine. Because I was just going to do this to kill them, just for clarity. Just to cycle this out of our hand. Let's cycle this out of our hand. Kill the whole room. I... Oh, oh, now the ice works? Excuse me. Excuse me. What what happened to it on the other floors? That actually messed up my strategy. Thanks, game. Wow. Cool. Cool, chat. That's real cool. Love it. <laughs> what was that? How... Why did it not... Was, was the ice effect not ice floor? What BS is that? Anyway, it should be over now. At least I healed with an alternate healing option. We were, That's basically the best case scenario, as I used it for alternate healing. So all we have to do is reach this exit, and I'm out. I, you know, I don't care. I don't care where it is. Listen. I don't care. Actually, that time I'm not sure where it went. But you know what? I don't care. I don't want to find out. I don't want to know. <laughs> right, chat? Just... I'm going to go with... How about no? <laughs> right? Just, I'm just gonna go with it. Mm, uh, not feeling it. Yeah, we're gonna risk death. All right, it should be challenge complete, right? Thank you. Holy, the negating attack one is gonna be like so much easier than this one. I'm assuming uh, immunity to damage counts as negating attack, so we just need to put a couple of shields in, and I barely have to change the deck at all. Honestly, I kind of feel like rage killing this boss. Oh, the menu's working because the game's not lagging. Um, sure. I don't really care. Let's go refight. I have diseases which prevent them from healing. Unless they're immune to disease, then that'll make me sad. Because I'm not sure we can ever really check what their immunities are unless the BCRA mentions it. Yeah, immune to disease. Unfortunate. Uh, I can just pile drive you repeatedly, which is kind of funny. Because you don't attack the first turn, right? Yeah, you just split randomly. So I'm going to move it to the center of the room so it's more viable. So Tesla Coil really messes this boss up. Our AoE damage also really messes this boss up, so that's why I didn't use it right away. Just need to make sure I'm not actively in a place being hit, and we're good. Alright, so I gotta move slightly. Oh no. Got him. Did they hit each other? Oh, they're healing each other with the shots. Oh, so I did make them heal each other slightly. That's unfortunate. On the plus side, they went in a really good position. Oh, they went in an amazing position for me to punish. Hello. Uh, would you like to take a million damage and die, please? I think the answer is yes. Oh, what a shame, chat. Oh, am I, am I bullying you? Am I bullying you? What a shame, chat. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Did you feel that faith that they were not going to target where I was standing? Did you did you see me not even check chat? That was confidence I was not getting targeted. I was like, go ahead. Watch what happens. Oh, they're so... They're going to take so much damage here. Wait a minute. They're actually in big trouble here. 
How much damage is this going to do to them? I imagine a lot. Well, let's find out together, chat. It did do a lot to the crossbow, which is a bit sad. However, it did just hurt them a lot again. So I just need to do a little more and they're about to take big damage. So I can take advantage of the fact that they can hit my gizmos. <laughs> I just need something that's other than a healing move. Like that's the first time we took damage the entire boss fight. Which I don't really care. Just need a damage card, please. Oh, Tesla Call is uh, pretty good. Are any of these... Yeah, none of these are targeting me, right? Yeah, none of them are. Okay. So we got them down to their last health bar already, and I have a regen, which is perfect for this boss. Didn't even hurt my Tesla. So I think they're dead. I think they're dead no matter what, right? How much HP do they have? Six or seven? If they... Oh, they have seven. Okay, they're, they're one damage from being insta-killed by Tesla, by the way. I need to do one damage to them somehow. Oh, can you imagine? So they could be rooted. I probably want to move because this damage is going to be big to me. Oh, actually, I was just thinking. What if I root them? What did they even do? I think this just stops their... most of their attacks, right? They're doing the dash attack. Yeah, see, they can't do anything. Uh... I'm gonna arbitrarily point this one upwards? Actually, no, no. Let's arbitrarily point this one over here. Just so we have it out of our hand. Wow, Root actually shuts this boss down so hard. I think we can agree, chat. Oh, well, they just... They actually just doomed themselves just then. That's actually perfect. GG? I played around their ability? Good day, sir. Oh, that's not even fair. That's not even fair. It's over. That's not even fair. That was called getting outplayed. Oh! <gasps> no, it's not flight mode. Oh, it wasn't flawed mitosis. It was the other card. I'm looking for one other card, but getting another one of those is kind of funny. So anyway, this boss is now completely trivial to me. <laughs> Just let like, you know, chat. I mean, that was a pretty convincing win. Listen, I had the one damage thing. It activated the crossbow, so it did one damage. It hit the other target, who already took a damage, and it activated the Tesla. That was so much stack damage. So even if they had somehow injured the Tesla more, it didn't matter. Horizons is not what I'm looking for. Oceana is not what I'm looking for. It's possible it might drop in a pack. Getting a lot of gemstones, which I don't super need. But I guess if we're doing more challenge runs, I'll use them. We already have the best Traveler cards, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we're gonna return to the Adventure Town. So I got a new card, finally. But that's not the one I was looking for. I don't think it was. For the Arena. There's one card in the Arena we could have taken, is what I'm mentioning. So anyway, let's uh, open all. I mean, it's possible the Abyssal ones will be new. If nothing else, we're getting a ton of cash for clearing it. Oh, now we get another regen thorn, so that's unfortunate. Cross shield might be useful here. Inflict disease units in line. Yeah, that's okay. So yeah, we got like five to eight thousand. See what horizon is. Oh look, higher chance of traveler. That seems fair. Another gem. So getting gemstones constantly is also kind of funny. So here we go. Mission accomplished there, I guess. You should be back now, right? Oh. 
I guess because I quit the dungeon, you weren't there. That's unfortunate. Note to self, if I quit dungeon, he doesn't come back with anything. So I guess I better come back so he actually gives me something. Also, I love that I have 127,000 shards or whatever they're called. Like, I just... I just don't care, chat. We're so overpowered at the moment with our stuff. Okay, what, what's our final challenge that I'm going to do? Well, I mean, I guess if it goes well, we might get one more, but I kind of doubt it. That other challenge was way more annoying than that should have been due to all the flyers. Reach the bottom of Dune Dome while negating damage from 10 different attacks. So I kind of like our current deck. I want to save it for later. It has like some flaws, but honestly, it's good enough to beat a boss. Gizmos are pretty good. So we'll, we'll keep it for posterity, I guess. So let's clean up our deck a little bit. Just want to clear it all, actually. What do I need for shields? Regen 3 is actually really huge. I'm going to take all three of these. I want all four pile drivers. Magma Moat is huge. Frozen Meteor is good. Push one to all, and then inflict to all units in a wider area. I'm going to try this card to see if it's any good. Maybe that would have helped us earlier. I definitely want Castle for negating damage. Place Ghost of Repel. They push infinite distance. I think, like, a full heal is fine. I think Heroic Stand is better. As it's a fortune card. Having five Marsh is good. Earthbind might be okay, depending on the dungeon. I definitely want Avalanche Slam. Having five of these is fine. I'm gonna take all five Ripposes. Take a couple heal cards, because it's also damage. Take five ceiling cards. Frostwave preventing healing is important. Plus, it act the more important thing that this doesn't say is that this allows me to activate multiple gizmos multiple times. So Frostwave is deceptively really good. Uh, I want Plasma Gates for sure. All five Tesla Claws, no doubts. Um, do I really not have any other like retaliate moves at all? If so, that's kind of sad. <laughs> is that really it? I mean, it can... It said attacks negated, so I need more, like, shields. Turtle push is kind of gimmicky. Is there really nothing else? That's so sad how bad the shield cards are. Um... Shield bash could be useful for the challenge. I'll take a few of those. Yeah, we'll do Shield Bash just for the challenge. I would not normally take this card. We'll take one Vine Thorns, five Crossbows. Regen Thorns is okay, but I need more. I'll take a single Turtle Push, because I don't want to have a bunch of them in my inventory or card selection. Maltrap does one damage and two wound. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. I do that. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take five frost waves. I think they are in their position in my deck at this point. I'm gonna try Tetherweb. Do I have any other shield cards at all? I don't think so. So we'll try this deck, see how it goes. Again, I kind of like that they all take one damage at the start because that negates stealth. Uh, is there anything I wanted to do other than this? Not really. Buzzsaw is more... F Buzzsaw, I think, is really fun when you have ways to hit it from a distance, but Warden doesn't have this. So the fact that it only costs one rank tells me I'd probably have fun with Buzzsaw in, like, a projectile build or something, or, like, a dash build. Like, if all I did was, like, use the Traveler to dash through Buzzsaw, I could just hit enemies for potentially, like, three damage. I could see that being kind of fun, but I'm, like, not in the mood for it, <laughs> I think, at the moment. Um, we have an okay amount of... I wish we had more castle. 
So I guess what I can do for the sake of making the challenge easier, I could just buy more castles. That way I could guaranteed roll into it. I did not mean to cancel that, that sucked. Oh, I remembered though. A shield Bash is not really that great. I don't really care about that. It's more, yeah, I think we need, oh, Castle only costs 750? Oh, well, that doesn't matter at all. Like five of those. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy more Frozen Meteors. Those are actually really good. I don't remember if I put them in the deck. Rune 1 Fruit Card is super good. I, I don't really plan on healing. One more of these, though. Let's get rid of the junk cards. Do I need that much? Uh, what can I go down safely? Maybe one Magma Moat. I need to basically be immune to damage for the challenge. I need like maybe three healing cards total. I don't really need a lot. I'm not a big believer in healing. I'm of the mentality that if you just have a card that kills them, why wouldn't you play a card that kills them? Warden has kind of an issue with that, where they don't have like a super burst card. So that's where I'm deciding. You know what? I think I will go down a couple of shield bashes, because that card is not great. Like, I need to draw some things that give shield for the challenge, but not... I don't think I need that many between now and the bottom of the dungeon. I could go down one blooming. Maybe one blooming. So, yeah, I think the blooming would have helped me a bit more in the previous challenge, I guess. Oh, look at how look how old this deck is. 50 cards. That's so cute. I kind of want to keep those just so we could look back on them in fond memories. But yeah, sadly the scroll doesn't work as you can see. So oops to the UI. Um, do I care about the red decks at all? Because they're my least favorite. <laughs> right, chat? Do I care about it? I don't think I do. I mean, I think that was the one. Oh, that was the one where we won without uh, playing a card. That's right. Uh. I guess I could get rid of one of the red decks. Actually, there's no difference between these two. Let's get rid of one of these. Yeah, that should be good. So as long as I have like a couple, well actually, you know what I should do? No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's not worry about it. So yeah, I, I don't, in, I hopefully don't need to heal. That's more like if I'm stalling for the challenge. If we didn't have the challenge, I probably wouldn't run healing. Unless I thought I was going to do the boss. Uh, then I might do the regen. Because it might be useful to tank damage and still keep going. So that way we keep our uh, card economy going strong. Because being able to heal across multiple turns means I could purposely take damage and be out of the danger zone. So you gotta reach the bottom of Dundone while negating damage from 10 different attacks. I'm hoping between the two app- Oh, actually, speaking of which, hold on. New question. Can I dupe the immunity damage cards? That would actually be better for the challenge. I'll keep the castle in there. But curiosity. Oh, I can't dupe them. Interesting. So I guess because they were a quest item, I can't dupe them? Interesting. I mean, that's probably fair, because otherwise they'd be running like 10 immunity cards. <laughs> Just, I mean, I see why they won't let me do it, which is funny. Oh, speaking of which. I wanted to check something here. Can I scroll all the way to the bottom? Oh yeah, I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally get rid of these cards. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we gotta go to Dune Dome. That's the one with the, uh, the twin fighters, right? I don't really want to do that challenge with this deck. 
That sounds really unfun. This 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 area was like ultra free with Oracle. I love that it says like it's the birthplace of Traveler and Raider, and I'm like, nah, it's it's Oracle time. But anyway, I guess I'll bring in yet another one not related to this. Oh yeah, speaking of which, what uh what area did we not clear? I guess we just never killed Magma City's boss. So I guess before we decide we want to beat the game, we, we might as well as go beat it. I mean, what's the worst that happens? We fight harder enemies that we dunk hard with Traveler anyway. I'm okay with that. So hopefully, because the challenge is only to get through and negate attacks, I should be able to do it fairly quickly. Ooh, didn't draw any damage immunity, but that's fine. See what they have here. No, it's really funny. They're already dead. Goodbye. Thank you, one damage relic. Listen, chat. Sometimes you're just like, it's over. No immunity cards again. That's kind of sad. I could root them in place. Doing that is okay. I want to save Frozen Meteor for a harder fight. I could pile drive them repeatedly, which is funny. The only question is. Okay, the other guy should die to pile driver, so I don't need to worry about him at all. If they injure me, it doesn't matter. Stealth is a little annoying. I could magma mode her. Eh, why not? It's funny. So I need to do enough damage for the challenge? That's fine. I don't think I super care about the rares in this area. I actually don't want to reset my cards. We're gonna skip that. Free damage. Still didn't get my immunity cards, which is a bit sad. I could freeze him, and that lines him up with me. I'll kill that one instantly if I want them to. Hmm. Is your character that has to move and then you have to attack, if I remember correctly? So that means I have time to do whatever I want here. Let's not rush it then. Let's burn some cards. I don't care if I get it. It's fun. I want an excuse to use items. Come on, immunity. Oh, that was their chance. Because then I could have had potentially a lot of enemies attacking me on the next turn. So unfortunate. Oh well. Oh, most of them are immune to root. Interesting. Uh. Do I waste the plasma gate here? Maybe. I could also just nuke them with this. Hmm. Decisions. Because now it doesn't matter if I get immunity. Yeah, I don't think it does. Let's just do this. So already took some damage here, so there's not really much he could do here to stop me. Hmm. I actually want to move away from the slime. Oh! That's not how I thought he was going to move, but that's interesting. As long as I'm two spaces away, I don't care. So I could kill the slime now and then move out of the way of the other guy. I think that just makes sense. 
So sadly, I drew like all my healing. I didn't even put that much in the deck. So those are ultra dead cards. This is what I was talking about earlier. I, I, I did go down in healing because I'm like, there's a couple of scenarios where if I'm trying to bait out the reflect, if I only have like partial shield, I need to be able to tank a couple hits here. But sadly, we drew literally all the healing. They stealth, but it doesn't matter because I remove stealth. Um, I can't pillar them and then also hit it, which is sad. I could root them in place. What is the downside if I do that? I need to I need to get rid of this card, so I think I'll do this so that way they are in a position that I can abuse. We need to hopefully draw immunity to damage or something really soon, please. We have like 68 cards. At least 20 of them go towards immunity. No. <laughs> right, chat? No, that's not. Well, you know what? Well, say GG to them because I'm not letting them leave. Damn, this ability is so good. So I found the exit, which is ironic because I don't want to hit the exit. Question, is that per floor or total? Total, okay. So I definitely don't want to go to the exit yet because we haven't negated a single attack. Okay. Uh... I really wish Crossbow hit directly in front of it. Because I could have put the, the Plasma Pillar here and put it over here and then Crossbow it upwards. And that would have been neat. But, uh, doesn't work like that, sadly. Actually, what does the game do if I do this? For my own reference. Curiosity what the game does if I do this. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, they just move forward in stealth and wait patiently, I guess. Sure. How did we see- <sighs> Seriously. And my turn. I could have zapped the other one if I felt like it. I just want to see what they do. Do they really not know how to deal with Gizmos? If so, that's kind of hilarious and kind of sad at the same time. Kind of sad. So what does this one do if I do this? Is the AI just not programmed to deal with Gizmos? That seems very exploitable. <laughs> right, chat? Like, if, if they're not- I'm like, I could just end my turn. What are they gonna do? They can't hit me, right? They have no AoEs. They can't walk to me. My gizmo's in the way. Wow, they are so respectful of the gizmo, chat. Round of applause. They're so- they're so thoughtful. Anyway, two more junk cards out of the way. Don't mind me. Just cycling through our cards. Huh. Wow. Well, Warden has a secret superpower, and it's called cheesing the AI. So that's nice. So you're stealth, which would normally be a problem, but, uh, oops. Take a damage. We finally got shield, but I think it's on enemies that don't really care. They'll care next turn. Okay, so what we could do is... Maybe hit you, because you're going to be a problem. So I just need to basically take damage at this point. I think I can move forward one and then shield, or I can wait. I can't tell if this guy will reach me. Like, allegedly it says he will reach me, but there's no way he moves six spaces and still attacks. I don't believe. What I could do is do this for now. Let's see what happens. 
That's fine. The other thing I want to learn... Oh, he might have killed himself there. If so, that's kind of funny. Oh, it didn't fire because the other guy was in the way. Interesting. So I basically just want to walk forward. And... Let him attack me, right? Yeah, just let him attack. That guy moving sideways is kind of sad. That's one attack negated. Oh, you can't go through your fish. My bad. I forgot you couldn't go through your fish. So I can negate one more set of attacks, but I should probably kill a couple of these enemies. So let's do some damage here. Actually, what's the downside to letting them attack me again? I don't think there is one, right? Because I could just stalagmite anything that's a problem. As long as you're meleeing. Yeah, let's let them do whatever they want. We need to negate more attacks. <laughs> I love I'm not even trying to win. I'm just like, just, just let me negate. It's fine. Yeah, that's another one out of the way. Do we just need to average about three a floor and we're fine? I think we just negated three. And one floor we need to negate four. And if we get any of our super immunities, that's good. So he's about to take damage again. And we lost our immunities. But I think we could just kill the whole room with two Frost Waves, because Frost Wave is ridiculous. What a great card, chat. What a great card. <laughs> just, just solve all of life's problems. Just Frost Wave the entire room and activate traps. It's fun. So we have two Slagmites, two heals. Hopefully we draw something a little better. Perfect mayhem! Welcome, Seraphim and friends. Hopefully you're doing well. Is that is immunity, but are you attacking? It just says footwork with no damage. It's possible you're not. You know what I could do? I could do. All you're gonna do is move. Let me make sure your retaliate goes away. I don't think I want to mess with you while it's active. So now he's going to attempt to hit me. Is fine. So he'll try to damage me. Question though. And I see my. I can't see my quest progress. So if I move forward one, I could put myself in range of the other guy and still be immune. So this is actually super good for me. Retaliate will do some damage, of course. Negated. Punished. Also negated. So there we go. We got five on one floor. We're, almost, we're halfway through the challenge, hopefully. And we also still progress the state of the room, which is always nice. I could get immunity to damage from that direction. Which might not be a bad idea, to be honest with you. You know what? I think I'll do that. He had two shields up as well. Nice. Oh, he AoE'd. Oh, see, that's why I hate shield. Shield, you're so lame. You don't work the way you, you really should. You should block the AoEs if they're in front of you. Lame. Alright, well... I think I can manipulate a block. I think I can. Let's let's try to manipulate a block. If I do this... It should block, right? Alright, so that's another negate. So hopefully, we should be good for the challenge, more or less. So I'm glad we drew those cards. So if we... 
Okay, I don't want to kill a unit on the sacrifice pad because I don't care about that. What I want to do is probably walk up twice, stun him, put him in way of the crossbow. That's a pretty good punish. The other guy can't hit me because I'm more than four away. Now he'll take damage. There we go. Well played. Now what do I do about this other guy? Oh, I could magma mode him. That would be kind of funny. Um, I could just burn a heal because I don't really care about them. Um... So if I do this, I have to go down one, left one... Oh, but he's floating. I don't think that'll hit him. Alright, let's... Let's reset the room. Let's just burn a heal so I have better cards to draw into. So we'll keep one heal for an emergency purpose, but that's it. But I'm feeling pretty good about the challenge so far. Nate getting attacks is so much easier than the other challenge we were doing. So mostly we just need a projectile or something similar. Avalanche slam is not good enough. So sadly here we're going to have to pass our turn because we can't reach him. He's almost dead. We just need to do two damage. Unfortunate he did not put a teleport where the crossbow was shooting because that would have ended the match. Um, I'm going to back up one space and see where he teleports. Okay, that might be good for us then because he might die here. Uh, just let the game beat itself. Don't mind me. So let's double check the conditions. So we just need three more and we're already done with the challenge. I might not even have to beat the dungeon. Unless I do have to literally reach the bottom. Oh, they said reach the bottom floor in the challenge. Never mind. So I think I think I can't just exit as soon as it's done. So yeah, we just need to negate three more attacks and then it's over. Wow, that magma mode though is kind of sick. I think they're immune to it, which makes me a bit sad. So I think what I could do is one, two, push. So it'd be like one, two, three in case he dashes. So if he dashes, he's going to take a lot of damage. Oh, didn't matter anyway. GG. Well played. Uh, I could magma mode them. Oh, I could be immune. Ooh, that's a good way to get the last three hits, but I think I just want to end this. Oh, they're not immune to fire. Well, that is interesting. That is very interesting. <laughs> that's so much damage. Disgusting. Goodbye. So at least Warden works well in the Earth Dungeon. That's kind of nice. Ooh, spikes. Not a big fan of those. A demon and a fast attacker. Hmm. I could root them. I like that it also purges self. So it's kind of a good way if I start getting hit by those like fish baits. I think that would have helped me in the previous challenge a little more. So we just need to negate three attacks. The question is whether or not I could do it easily while still doing okay damage. I think if I do this, this is the safest course of action. Because the other guy would have to go the long way around and he might die walking into the spikes because he's stupid. Or he could do that and that's still fine. I'm still- oh, there we go, speaking of stupid. Alright, so all I need to do is... Could I just choose to be immune here? And ignore two attacks? I could. I think it's worth at least just straight up killing him, because it's funny. What happens if I do this on this guy? Oh, he dies anyway, because he got crushed. Wow. Warden does not care about things like damage immunity. It's like, listen, tears exist. 
So I'd like to get damage immunity on something a little easier to set up three hits on. But it's kind of funny I could do it right now if I wanted to. So I think at this point we should probably... Wow, Pile Driver literally beat that entire room except for one attack. That's kind of funny. But anyway, what I was saying earlier is that uh, I think we're pretty much good for the challenge. This one was just way easier compared to the other one. And dead. Oh, he didn't jump into the spikes. So brave of you. And now we almost cleared the entire floor. I skipped a couple treasure rooms, but it's fun. Let's get our cards back. I didn't really need the healing. So hopefully on the next floor, we could get the rest of the challenge out of the way, and then we just gotta reach the end. I don't know if it's worth fighting the boss. I feel like it's kind of not at this point. Like, I have a few things to uh, get rid of status ailments, because there's a lot of charm and there's a lot of things like fish bait. But I just don't think I would enjoy fighting this boss with this character. Yeah, I don't need to pray to the Quill Shrine, it's fine. Hmm. Just put like something between me and him and we would be done. Right, if I move here, where does he move? He's gonna do a big AoE, so I'm just gonna move twice. Let's see. Well, actually, I'll move three times. Let's see where he goes now. So he commits hard. So I think he's just dead here, if I want him to be. Yeah, I think this is GG. Bye. Oh, so if I know he always goes to the right, if he can't move anywhere when he's forced to move with Stalagmite or the Frozen Meteor, it just insta-kills him, basically. Or at least it removes a health bar, and in most scenarios, that's the same as insta-kill. Um, that looks like a really unfun room. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It is chests, but I don't have any. Well, I have Avalanche Slam. Uh, I could make myself immune. You know what? We'll try this. Could draw. Oh, I was gonna say I could draw something nice, and I did actually. What are you going to do? You're the thing that I'm worried about, because you're the thing that's going to troll me with, like, really slow tactics. I could be immune to the Stalkers. I'm not worried about them. You get immunity down there. Don't think it's worth it. Hmm. So you can root this. That's actually important. Move you away and root you. Hmm. Let's do something like this. I don't know if you move three or four spots. Well, Time to find out, I guess. I'm gonna assume three. And we're gonna set up for this. I'm assuming they won't go through the treasure chest, but we'll see. Oh, they only moved two. Unfortunate. Nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of their stealth. Pop the treasure boxes. Next turn I can become immune to their damage. If I want to. I wish I had one more AP. I guess I could have held off on the ice. Mm. Is 
next turn I'm gonna get melee because they'll move to hit me. Actually, this might be fine. I can I might be able to come with the Barbie, and then it's fine. I was just thinking about it. Okay, good. They didn't put. That's what I was worried they would do. They didn't do it. Oh, I forgot the ice would make them slide like that. That's also true. Well, let's ice meteor them. Unfortunate. I was hoping to get shot by the bee or something. They get one attack out of it, but it could have been much better. Hmm. I could just walk forward and damage them in the battle. We'll take the extra cards, I guess. I still need to get more resist, because that was sadly only one out of that. Ooh, that is a nasty, nasty, nasty combo of cards it just gave me. Marsh is so powerful against this group. Especially into things like Tesla. Like, there's basically nothing they could do here. <laughs> Excuse me. Even if they stealth, it doesn't really matter. I got time to figure them out. And possibly gain immunity, because I might be able to attack the Tesla with the shield to get immunity. And I could. Yes, let's do that. Oh, they didn't attack. That's awkward. I have a retaliate for the final piece that I need to do. So I'll just let them attack for now. Oh, they went to the side of me. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I didn't think about that. That was me misunderstanding how their attack works. Um, actually, I drew really bad cards for this. Hmm. Deal with you. I could retaliate, I'd prefer not to. Let's Midnight Oil, since I made a mistake. See, I thought they had to attack from the front, but they always have to teleport. So he's gonna attack me from there, which is fine if he does. See, now we've learned. We've learned how to deal with that enemy in the future more cleanly. And I'm back to full health. That's why I like regen. Hmm make myself basically immune to the whole room, which is tempting. Is he just dead? Yes. I'm gonna back up one space. Oh, you don't take damage from the spikes. That's disappointing. Do I use my retaliate now or kill them with something else? I think I just kill them with something else. It's not a great room for retaliate. Just easier to do that. Alright, the crossbow should activate and hit him for damage, which is useful. Could do a little bit of damage to him potentially, maybe. No, he's not in range. Um, I don't think it really matters what I do here to kill him, to be honest. Use another pile driver, or I could take damage on purpose. Oh, it just it feels so bad using it for just one attack, though. I'm gonna hold off. Oh, I did not meet him my turn there. 
unfortunate. That should make it confusing for him to navigate, and it'll get through a lot of the traps that I don't need for other floors. Ooh, he teleported up there. Interesting. Well, I think the best thing to do would be to come over here, because if I need to, I walk forward and hit him. Or he'll be the max possible distance from me. That also works. Yeah, th I think this is the best position, because no matter where he goes here, yeah, he's done. Got him. Uh, so I just need, like, very minor healing. More importantly, I need damage immunity. So I just need them to be more aggressive to me. Will you hit me if I'm in range? You will. Okay. It's not good enough. <laughs> That's the problem. It's just they, they need to hit me more than once to make this worth it. It's actually much better than I gave it credit for. I knew the immune one was really good, but the retaliate... Getting two retaliate on a range attack is actually really huge. So what I can do is try to set up for next turn, maybe. And I can leave... Yeah, let's just... Let's just hang out here for now. I could I could place traps next turn, it doesn't really matter. Or retaliate just kicks in and they die. I don't really care. That's one target that should reach me next turn. Hopefully he can hit me. That guy should be able to hit me. Hopefully they don't do something like buff, because that would be a big waste of time. But they probably are. I don't know, they're planning something. Ah, uh, let's retaliate. So this should be two attacks, which is worth it. Oh, where he'll... What? Why did he... So he has to dash? Oh, there's a goal to reach the bottom of the Doom Dome in 60 turns. I forgot that was the thing. I mean, obviously, we're not going to do that for the challenge. It scared me, because I was like, how did I lose a challenge? This shouldn't be possible. Uh... Hmm... Anyway. They shouldn't be able to hit me, right? Because they gotta do that stupid dash attack. So sadly, we didn't get the immunity there. Coming back here and clearing in 60 turns, especially with Traveler, should be like brain dead easy. So I'm not worried about that. I would probably play with the thing that actually reveals the map just to make sure I can leave quicker. But extra AP doesn't hurt. Say goodbye to this thing. I mean, what could they even do to me at this point? I think it's just over, right? Yeah. They don't know how to progress through this. I kind of feel bad for them. Let me open a pass so maybe they'll figure it out. As if so, we've learned today how the AI reacts. So the most they could do is charge forward, and then they get hit by the crossbow and die. So he also has to dash, so I don't need to do anything. I kind of feel bad for them. They're actually probably the easiest slimes to deal with compared to the other ones. I'll take that all day over the other slimes. Hmm. Get rid of the sniper. The chakra master wants to align with me, that's fine. Oh, is he actually gonna chuck from there? That is impressive. Uh, let's do another crossbow. Because the worst thing that happens is I crossbow the Tesla. 
Yeah, that's fine. I'll keep it here then. All I need to do now is dodge, so I think I will. Nice. So there's no way he's targeting over there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I doubt it. Dealt with you. So even if the bee gets close, I should be able to shut it down pretty easy. The other guy should go to the left, presumably. Oh, he went to the right. Ooh, interesting. So I probably want to stack it so that it's more likely to hit these targets, like this. Oh, I meant to hit it with the Frost Wave. Whoops. Put it out of range of Frost Wave. That was a misplay. Uh... Oops. I'm gonna blame being tired on that one. I, for some reason, thought Frost Wave would hit that, so I was gonna Tesla to kill the uh, mummy. Um... How much damage is this gonna do if this hits me? Three? But it bleeds me. Hmm. I think it's better for me to just root them here. So I'm still going to do the same thing to kill the bee. Nothing changes there. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we got healing. That's why we put a couple in the deck in case I misplay. So regen should take care of this, and I just gotta line up with him with Tesla shots, and it should be good. So it should be GG at this point. I could just triple Tesla him. Because I meant to Frost Wave to either hit the mummy or hit the other guy. Either would have been fun. Oh well. So back at full health, I still need more damage immunity. Oh, this is gonna be nasty for the enemy. Goodbye. Goodbye, room. So that's like half of the room defeated instantly. Love to see it. You know what? I don't think we have to deal with this room either. Goodbye. This room brought to you by one damage to every enemy in the room. A question. Am I missing by one? I need one more resist damage. We got two floors to do it, so it should be doable. I just need to actually draw it, is the question, if I could do it. Um. I could double marsh them. What's this? Oh, it's just a background thing. Super treasure, grab it. Let's do double marsh then, just to get out of our inventory. Oh, I have like four turns to kill them. Now I understand. Um... In which case, let's set it for next turn. So that way, even if he approaches me, it doesn't really matter. Oh, he can actually dash through solid objects. Makes sense, I guess. All right, so let's see what he does with this. If he hits me, it doesn't matter. We kill him no matter what next turn. Heal. Get the treasure. Still need to resist one attack. One damage to the room. Hmm. Oh, I 
Ouch, it's slightly different abilities here. So he's just gonna move this turn. He's not going to attack. Unless I put myself physically in distance. Curiosity. I'm gonna root him just to get rid of this card. Hopefully I've moved out of the range of the bomb, because either way I want to move here. Okay. So now I could just... Well, no, he's going to do AoE. It's not going to work. Um, Because of Rudy can't move. Interesting. Hmm. What do I want to do to mitigate? Because that's a lot of damage that's going to hit me. Because that's potentially six damage. Because he wants to end where I'm standing. So I need to move. So I could put webbing here. see how that manipulates my turn. Maybe something like that would be okay. So he's rooted, so he shouldn't be able to attack, right? Oh, he can still land surge me. Hmm. I wanted to confirm that. So then if I do this... Wait, it said free movement! Oh, does does allies mean like my summons? Cause that's not the that's not the same. That is absolutely not the same. I thought I was supposed to have free movement on the webs. That messes up my turn order. I was gonna do that to maneuver off of the web, which if that costs me points, is fine. That is so rude. Oh, that was a great combo. <laughs> that was basically everything I wanted it to be. And more. It rooted again, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was that was basically the magma mode of my dreams right there. I shut down that entire room. Uh man, I really wish these enemies were good to shield against, but if they AoE, it's useless. How badly do I want those chests is the question. <sighs> Let's come back. We have another room we could do before we go to basement three. We'll also have to reset the game since it looks like it's lagging again, unfortunately. Which again is on their side. It's definitely not my side. Let's go through here. Let's not hit the pylons. There's one more room I can check out. So I just need one more resist. I'm hoping just for an easy room. Or, you know, it could just be horrendous as all get out. I mean, I guess that works too. I'm gonna be real careful here, because if I don't leave myself a way to escape, I could die very quickly. Um... I could do this and potentially activate the Tesla. Let's do this. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, that's better. Oh, that is unfortunate. Never mind. It's no longer fortunate. Is he's gonna hit me here? Oh, I forgot they could move enemies with that. See, I'm more getting punished for not remembering their individual mechanics. Okay, we need to get out of here or I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Let's... Can I move you in a way that would be beneficial? That would kill you, so I don't need to worry about your damage. But that doesn't solve my problem. I could do this. I think that's the smart play. I'm going to heal, get rid of the big problem.
Then I can move out of the way here. Yeah, that works. See, these are another set of enemies. Oh, they killed each other. This is another set of enemies where shield doesn't really work, which is unfortunate. I need to find, like, real basic enemies, or I need my immunity card. There's nothing in between. And that's why I don't like shield. But that's what the challenge is, is using bad cards, potentially. Why is there a resting spot over here? That's crazy. Let's reset our cards. Well, if we could kill the worm, this room might work. Since it can't move, it could get crushed. Nice. So we want these enemies to come towards us, but the problem is, is they can't do their dash. If they do their dash, that really messes us up. So for now, we'll move forward and see what they do. So presumably, they just alternate between pursuit and dash, but every time they dash, I can't do what I need to do. So let's move out of the way. And hopefully they'll stay near me. I'm hoping they just decide to go within two spaces and then we're gonna castle to get our last immunity. And then I think I'll just try to clear the dungeon. All right, so this should work. And then I no longer need to use this if I don't need it. So we're just gonna stand still because we need to resist the attack. Okay. I think that's it. I think we did it. I'm gonna move out of the way because that's an empty space there. I have one more round of shielding, which we could use to punish this. Shield, I think, might be okay on the melee duo of this boss, but I, as I said before, I'd really prefer not to have to deal with that if we don't have to. Okay, disable all their stealths, which is ridiculous. Hopefully that crossbow can't shoot me through the wall. I'm assuming it can, but it's also this game, so I'm not sure. Okay, good. Put down another Tesla, which is funny. Hmm. That did so much damage. We just gotta move out of the way of this, right? That was worth it. That did a ton of damage to everybody. And interestingly, we it left another... It didn't damage both pylons. So in theory, I could just have multiple pylons that kind of stack with each other, which is kind of sick. Huh. It was definitely worth coming over here, because this is basically free treasure. Yeah, challenge is mostly easy. I probably could have gone down at least one more healing. It was somewhat useful to have regen, and that's why we kept it in there. And the most of the only reason we took damage is because we have to do the immunity thing. So we got two extra starters, which is like getting 4,000 cash. Oh, that's a big amount of enemies just deleted from this room. This is huge, actually. Yeah, this curio put in the work, chat. Look at the work. It killed all but one enemy. That's what I want to see, chat. I want to see the nope. Nice try button. We're definitely bringing this on the 60 floor clear. Being able to clear stealth, I think, is really important. And also, obviously, doing one more damage. Although, that means that uh, I can't infinite dash them with uh, Traveler, which is a bit sad. Wait, did you just walk in a big circle but still can't hit me? What an idiot. Damn, that curio is so good. There we go. 
It's all we gotta do now is reach the bottom floor. We've, we've negated 11 out of 10. Reset our cards. Heal even though we're not injured. Take more money, because it's funny. Yeah, I definitely do not want to do the boss, though. So at this point, I'm just looking for the exit. We're going to see if the warden challenges were worth it in the end. Hmm. I'm just gonna test load what I can here to make it a bit safer for me. See, he might kill himself on the Tesla if he just pops in place. She kind of did. We're gonna get rid of the worm so we don't need to worry about being repositioned weirdly. And GG to this enemy. So as I said before, having immunity and retaliate, I think it's okay versus the boss. It's more the shield. <laughs> the shield is just worse immunity. So unless it also gives retaliate, it's not usually worth it. I would have loved a card where you get like retaliate equal to your shield bonus. And if you don't have shield bonus, it gives like two shield or something. That would be kind of nice. Do I feel like dealing with this room? Not really. I think we got all the treasures that I need. Let's just try to leave. Ooh, what a bad room. Hmm. Unfortunately, we got Turtle Push. Which is... I mean, like... I guess this is kind of just like worse castle wall with a push. So kind of unfortunate. We're gonna wound this and then hopefully crush it here. Okay, he stepped on the spikes, that's good for us. He also stepped on the spikes, that's really good for us. I can make myself immune and just retaliate, which might be the power play to be honest. The other guy's just gonna walk towards me, though. It's just, if I could deal with the guy in the middle, we would be fine. Maybe it's better to do something like this for now and just kill this guy outright. That way, even if the bee spawns here and this guy does his attack... Oh, he's not in position to attack me? Why did he do that? Actually, genuine question. Why did he move like that? Um, I don't know what the AI is going to do here. So I could do this. Yeah, let's just do this. That way we know what the AI is going to do. No question. So retaliate should just kill the other guy. And the bee will kill itself on me. Yep, that's fine. Done. See, the other guy, if he moves at all, he damages himself. Oh! His, his special attack goes through spikes. Interesting. I guess that's fair. So I'm probably going to have to take some damage here, because I just didn't get any good AoEs, sadly. So I can root them and maybe avalanche them, maybe? Just wish I had, like, one more source of damage. something like this.
Could have done that in a slightly better order, I think, but that's fine. I got rid of the bees. And I get to damage the other thing into killing it with Tesla, maybe. This is fine. Yeah, that should be fun. And what I could do is put Tesla here. And activate Tesla with this. I should kill the other thing. Although I think that... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I forgot. Because the ice will make sure that he reaches me. I should have waited a turn. That was silly of me. I got greedy. That's fine. That actually did very little damage, surprisingly. Uh, Yeah, it should just be a GG here. Even if he hits me here, I'm going to heal like a bazillion thanks to the regen. Let's go ahead and use this up. So now we're just looking for the exit. So I got a question to myself. How many rooms do I think are going to be between us and the exit? I wish I could like restart the game because it is definitely starting to lag. I think what happens is every time it loads like a visual element like the sand, for example, or like the mist in the library, I don't think it cleans it properly. So like there's definitely some memory leakage going on is what I'm saying. It's behaving very oddly. Um, I probably want to do something like this. Set up for a good next turn. Hopefully get out of range of the shot. I didn't check the shot. Oh yeah, we're out of range. So made him targetable. Get rid of you. You're gonna do whatever you need to do. I don't care if you spawn a buddy. So I can get immunity now if I want to. I probably do. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to slide up so that way I don't have to go as far for the other attacks. So even if the other guy attacks me, I'll be immune. The bomb will still hit me though, because shield sucks. Wait, he attacked that? Wait, why? What? He didn't have to do that to reach me. AI, please. Cut me a break on that one. Perish. Thank you, Lava Moat. You're so much better when I'm not fighting 95% flying enemies. Alright, so I have 9 HP. Most of my cards are there. There's no reason to reset. Just looking for the exit at this point. Ooh, one damage to everything here is actually huge. Goodbye, their stealth. Yeah, that effect right there, I think, is what's lagging the game. So we'll have to reset it at some point. Let's see. Hmm. I have complete immunity to everything, but I wish I had better damage. The problem is not the snakes, it's actually the guy in the middle. How do I reach the guy in the middle and not explode? Oh, it's regular shield bash. Oof, the bad one. I mean, I guess I could just give myself shield three for now. I guess turtle push is okay. I'll take it over shield bash in the future. Alright, so now I can get in a position where I can potentially kill the other guy, and I don't need to worry about big damage coming my way. Oh! That hits the whole row. Never mind. Misplay. We'll kill him with this then. I didn't want to do that, but it's fine. We gotta live with our choices there. 
I keep forgetting the basic ones will do three spaces. The orange will do five, and then the Anubis heads will do different ones there. Wait, he got through my shields. Well, that's lame. Oh, right. It leaves you vulnerable in one spot. That's sad. Anyway, time to kill all of them. I brought that in specifically for the snakes. Our last shield wore off. I don't have a way of targeting them directly. I could just castle again, which is not a terrible idea. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move closer just to encourage them to strike me. And then we punish. So shield actually works decently well on these enemies, since a majority of them do not have special attacks aside from the ranged projectile list, which is fine if they do. Get rid of his stealth real quick. Yeah, because even him attacking there, it just doesn't matter. That feels nice. So I would be tempted to leave a couple of castles in my deck if I was playing Warden start to finish. A couple of regens. Both of the immunity cards, because that's super good against boss battles. Or even in general, it's like a free turn. Oh, well, speaking of free turn, that is a lot of damage on the sarcophagus that's about to happen. Wow. Speaking of which... Killed the sarcophagus in instantly. Um, Do I use a frozen meteor here? That's the question. kill him instantly. Could move that guy closer to me. It'd be better just to kill this guy. This guy's kind of a problem. Use a little ice floor to get closer. So I have, a, I have an immunity card, a full heal, and a really good trap. We're in a pretty good position to beat the floor. Come on, enemy. So, like, I, a part of me wants to try the boss, but it's like, do I really want to lose all my cards? Not really. If, if I had the thing to return all my cards and reduce the cash, I will go do the boss. But I'm at the point where I'm like, I did clear a lot of rooms. I didn't get a lot of gemstones, but I did get a lot of packs. Yeah, like, that that's a lot of packs to potentially give up. Which I don't think I really want to do. And we have to come back here anyway. So if I need to speed up the deck, it would make more sense. Oh, wait, can we just deposit this then? Oh. Okay, no, no, no. Then we'll try the boss with the intent that I'm going to send everything there before we go forward. Let's get a little more cash. Because I, I don't really care about the, the shards. We, we have enough. Like, we're good. Ooh, this is a weird room to deal with. Um, Maybe something like this is good enough? <sighs> that is just so versatile. Th I think this is my new favorite trap. The fact that, like, I can leave one of them around to rehook into it and potentially set up for bigger traps, it's pretty good. I mean, look at this. I killed three enemies with one trap. And it can set up for another one if I want to. Okay, we need the other guy to get a little closer. So I might root him into a marsh to get the kill. We'll see. Hmm. This will reveal him, he'll be rooted. Can't move, so I can maybe stalagmite him, or stalactite, whichever I get. And then we're maybe done with the dungeon? Uh, that works. Bonk. 
So at this point, we're just looking for the exit. Once we find the exit, we'll we'll try the boss. I'm not gonna promise we're gonna win. So we found the exit. Now we just have to clear it. I want to keep the immunity for the boss if we can. Because that way we can ignore two turns of the boss doing whatever it wants. Um, but I don't see a way to do that with this room is the problem. That really sucks. Because purge and immune to is crazy good. It's literally two whole turns I could do whatever in the boss fight and it doesn't matter. Um... I think I have to make myself immune here. If it wasn't the Spearman and the Worm and the Blaster, I would have felt more confident. But I'm not feeling confident about this. Let's do something like this, maybe. Let them do whatever they want to do for setup here. Perfect. Get rid of you. Hit you. Oh, you can hit them when they're stealth. Interesting. So that was a really solid clear. Even if it attacks me there, I have Pile Driver. Good to know Pile Driver ignores stealth. Seems kind of unfair to be honest with you, but I'm not gonna question it. Oh, that'll be ultra GG. gonna do this turn you're gonna target me with wound i don't think i want that do something like this to block their ability to hit me because he's in the way it won't hit him which is fine nice that's what i had a feeling would happen good good good, good. nicely cleared so our cards are just kind of okay I got a full heal, a shield. Do I? I guess I clear one more room just with the intent of either getting more treasure or getting better draws. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Rip is a super useful in the boss fight. Magma Moat, I think, is okay. Move forward in magma mode. That'll kill most of these. I do this. So magma mode already MVP as usual. One full heal might be useful on the boss. Rooting, I don't know if it'll work on the bosses. Regen is useful, but as I said before, I kind of need like an offensive option or immunity. So I think I want to get rid of shield bash here if I can, because that card just kind of is lame. Cycling that into something stronger would be huge for us. Shield 3, much better than the other option, but not amazing. I'll take it for now. Alright, so now that we have extra shards, let's, let's try the boss. The worst that happens is I lose to the boss, and we learn information. I'm gonna keep all the packs that we just acquired. We know the boss is going to be in two phases, like two different fights. I have a couple of ways to become immune, a root, and an okay damage move. I'm kind of hoping we draw a little stronger in the boss fight itself. But if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so being able to do another 2000 shards is fine. We could get for, I think we could get 10 trinkets without getting any additional money. But the fact that I kept all those cards for me means that now I'll do the challenge. Because otherwise I'd be like, why would I ever choose the challenge when I have that many cards on the line? It's not worth it to me. And whatever stuff we get here, you know, it'll be I keep it, I guess. Or I'll lose it. We'll find out, I guess. 
let's see. Final floor. So we completed all of their bonuses. I didn't activate the treasure room, sadly. We have, as I said before, a lot of ways to become immune. Retaliate might be useful. Immunity, I think we have to just decide what the boss is doing, whether it's worth it. Purge self might be a way to get rid of some of the bad status ailments, and succor and midnight oil are more backup options. I'm a little worried we don't have any gizmos. But we'll try our best, I guess. So I might want to pop castle early. An extra damage, nice. Yeah, because they're gonna force me to fight them. So one of them can be rooted, one of them can't. Interesting. The other guy will stealth. I don't want to retaliate yet. Let's root the other guy in place. Yeah, let's let's root him in place for now. Should be have his attack range completely. And the other guy, we should make a determination whether we need to retaliate. And he went full screen, that kind of sucks. Throw out a range of challenge and he can't jump at us. Him getting shield is fine, I don't care if he gets immunity either. It's more what they do as the follow-up that has me worried. So that, we just have to move sideways to dodge. Oh, that does an entire health bar? Wow, throws a meteor OP. So strong. Uh, that's kind of worth it. I mean, Frozen Meteor by itself will carry. We're getting the offense I was hoping for. So him getting healed there doesn't matter. We did so much damage at burst. So if we get more stalagmites, that would also be good. Heck, we can't magma mode him makes me sad. The other guy's not going to do anything. He's going to be the problem. I'm not really sure how we're going to deal with him if he gets powered up. Because we just don't have a way of dealing with flyers currently. I could try to like move forward and stalagmite him. See if this will help. Like this. Is this possible I can crush him against the wall? Depending on what he does here. Is this retaliate up to four? That's kind of crazy. I don't think I want to deal with that. Immunity, honestly, is not that bothersome to me. So he's gonna stomp if I don't do anything. So I think I want to push him backwards. Because this will injure him. So again, it's like indirect ways of damaging him to get through his abilities. And now I created a safe spot for me, so I don't need to use an ability to dodge damage. And we put spots on the floor for him to take extra damage. So he created some reflectors. So good status ailment, magma mode, even if he gets healed here, it doesn't matter, it did its job. I have two turns of immunity, I want to save that for later. I wish this guy would actually just hit me. It's kind of sad, like, I just don't have any damage moves. Uh, That's not what I thought I was looking at my cards. That is not where I wanted to move at all. I mean, fortunately, I don't think I'm going to get punished for this, but... That is actually really annoying. I'm gonna miss out a stalactite. Yeah, stalactite. Although, weirdly, he put himself in a better position. Oh, he made himself immune. But wait, he's not immune to crush, though. So that actually doesn't matter. 
Yeah, I don't really care if he shield bashes me, to be honest. Right? He should still take damage from this. Oh, no, 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 because he can move forward. He doesn't have to. Uh, that's fine. That, why does it... Okay. That really, really sucks. It ate my input twice there, and that actually really messed up my turn. Hopefully I don't get punished hard for this. Okay, I did not get punished hard for this. So, again, I, I'm not a fan that by default, when you're, like, moving with the cards, it's, like, not always super obvious what mode you're in right away, especially with the yellow on white kind of background of the character. So when I'm looking at my cards and I'm constantly swapping between what I think is good versus not good, because I need to do this to see their movement ranges, I guess I could use other buttons to some extent. But I need to check like what their individual AI is doing. So he's going to challenge me to melee him, which I don't really want to deal with. If I had like one more thing, I would be fine with this. So I don't want to get immunity this turn. I need to I need to cycle our cards though. Let's Let's castle and then move further downwards. So that way I have something to potentially crush them against, which I think which would be more interesting. Depending on how he jumps. His shield doesn't matter at all. We just need like one wall behind him. So he's gonna hit a very weird range. He's gonna stomp in a 360 radius. I could make myself immune if I want to, so I don't have to dodge. I'm just not quite getting the cards that I need to close out the battle, if that makes sense. Like, I need to- I have too many healing cards in my hand, is the problem. But I'm trying to think about how to deal with this in a way this that would be beneficial to me. Should I just make myself immune now? Yeah, let's let's get rid of this. I can't think of a better time to retaliate here. That way, we still have an immunity card, and I can maybe get a damage move. So he hurt himself, which is good. He's heading a lot of obstacles in the arena. So hopefully we can kill him really soon. Man, I just... I'm just not trolling my damage cards. This is so sad. Uh, what are you doing this turn? Just flying around? I might be able to do something bad to you. If I do this and then strike you, this will work, right? Okay, good. Okay, I can make progress in this battle. One more health bar down. Do I dare kill him is the question. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh. Oh, there we go. So we killed one. We have a full heal, a regen, and an immunity. And I also ignore damage for a turn with melee. So I guess it's just really up to the game what he does here and how hard this is about to be. I finally got a gizmo. <laughs> just, just PS by the way, I've been waiting. Oh no, why did it go left? No, the stupid select thing happened again. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. I didn't want that. Okay, Lore's at least out. Can I? There we go. Can you please not do that? So why don't we do this? So I could finally injure this character. Do I just take the damage? I think I just take the damage. We just gotta, we just gotta end the fight. Oh, it was already, it was already that damage. I was not expecting that. That's unfortunate. Huh. I thought I would get two more uses out of that. Well, let's heal then. So let's get out of the I could potentially die range. Where are you attacking now? You're just gonna move randomly? Oh, he's invisible, so I can't target him anyway. Um, 
Let's move over here then. Well, we have a little bit of regen, so I'm basically at full health. I still have a full heal. I just need him to not stealth, and then we're fine. Him constantly stealthing is actually a big problem for us. We don't have a good counter to that. Unless we draw exceptionally well. Um... like vaguely see where he's gonna aim so if i move over to the right one he shouldn't still hit me correct yeah i guess i could leave the tesla in the middle i think this covers the most distance and then we just need to draw kind of well here yeah let's barricade it up a little In case he somehow has a melee attack. I'd really doubt it, though. So I just have no way of targeting this enemy. This is so sad. I have to kind of, like, hit him with this, maybe? Like, the crossbow? We got we got bailed out a little bit there. I'm not gonna lie. We just need him to stop going invisible, but if he doesn't, I don't know how we're going to beat him before running out of cards. Retaliate's not bad. Maybe I could kill him with Retaliate. That'd actually be super sick if I kill him with Retaliate. So I'm going to purposely get hit by this and see what happens. All that doesn't count is him attacking me directly. Interesting. Did... Did the mirror block the damage? That is really unfortunate if it did. Huh. I... I don't know if they thought about this boss battle chat. Is this even winnable? He's constantly being healed, and I have no way of getting rid of stealth. Unless we get lucky with, like, Meteor or something. Huh. That... Kind of blows. I guess I'll use our other heal for now. I have enough to maybe pin him, but it really completely depends on where he goes here. Like, the boss battle is completely out of my control at the moment. Like, he's not hard, but at the same time, I just don't have a tool that can kill him, thanks to all these mirrors existing. So I wonder if I can destroy these mirrors. No, I can't. That's super, super unfortunate. Yeah, that destroyed my trap. So, what are you supposed to do as a normal character versus this? So, I have Pile Driver, which can hit him. So, this might be the first time in a while I can interact with the boss after like five turns, by the way. So, cool, cool boss design. Love it. All right, we're gonna move two up, and then we just gotta play patiently. I need him to be in a position I can either crush him to death, or I can fro freeze Meteor him into something interesting. Because I don't think I could stun him either. And he's already immune to, uh, what's it called? Uh, Root, which would have been my other way of revealing him. So, like, I could pin him against the wall, but that's not good enough. So I need to kind of... I need to kind of predict where I can put this, where it would be useful. I mean, it's possible that this is good enough. Let's try to use his own attack to set it off. And then see how this changes his attack pattern, if at all. It doesn't. We'll move sideways then. There we go. That was the first time in a long time I can hit this boss, by the way. So if we get another pile driver, he dies. But it's down to our... What is this pattern of explosions? 
I really wish we could root him. Huh. Uh, question. If I do this, will he appear where I'm standing? If so, I have another counterplay. Now this is where his projectile goes. He can fly randomly. I noticed his targeted projectiles are taking up almost the whole arena now. Cute. Shield is useless. I can't push him because he's not targetable. Um, I could disease him, but that doesn't reveal him. If that revealed him, that also would have helped. Shield Bash literally does nothing, and I don't know how to get rid of it. I could Heroic Stand if I think I can target something. But again, we're kind of in like a catch-22. Like, I, it, if I could target him, this battle would be over. But I can't, so... Definitely not a fan of this. I think they should have given you one phase where he wasn't stealthed. And that could have been in like the pre empowering up state but it's like right now it's like this is just kind of dumb like i just i have to basically blow cards if i can and that's it that's my strategy so hopefully we draw something useful here like a gizmo electric wall would also end the fight instantly potentially depending on where he's standing I'm noticing his projectiles are taking up more of the arena, which again, is kind of annoying because I don't have control over my draw. So we just have to eventually go in. But I just don't know where he's gonna... I just don't know where he's gonna land is the problem. I could... No, I can't just burn this. I could, I could do this just to get rid of it. Maybe we could do this just to get rid of it. I have enough to kill him if I ever get next to him. Oh? Maybe? I get- maybe I get to play the game here? Oh my gosh. Wow, that was like really tedious, but we got through it. Almost the whole arena was targetable. It's not hard, it's just like... I just wish the game let me hit him. <laughs> the fight would have been done like 15 turns ago. Whatever. So we didn't even use our immunity card. I was thinking we would have to do that to dodge some projectiles, but yeah, I I guess if I were to redo this with the Warden, knowing that the stealth enemy is immune, I would probably bring in more gizmos. But otherwise, I think if we just reduce like useless moves like shield push, like it wasn't a challenge, I think we probably would have been fine to be honest with you. But hey, we beat him. So there's that. Got extra rewards. There we go. I had a feeling his card was in here because I didn't remember picking it up. So we got Bat's Dive. So yeah, not a fan of that boss for sure. Feels, feels pretty unfair, to be honest. Unless you're Traveler. Traveler doesn't care. Oh, we got so many gems for beating it. So that'll be our final, final run of the night. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly save. I'm going to quit the game and relaunch. That way we don't have any lag. Ignore the gray screen for a moment and let's relaunch it. So, I guess thoughts and feelings. I guess Warden is still decent. I liked it originally. I like the concept of it. It's just a shame that there seems to be some mechanics that really hard counter the deck. But when, they're, when you don't go to high difficulty it's still kind of fun yeah now it's behaving itself so let's go ahead and open these up i did not gain a single new card from that that is so sad that is so sad how about from these you gotta get any interesting raider cards or are they just trash Oh, we got more Adrenalines, but I think I'm basically maxed on those. Steps ahead. And yeah, didn't really... Still didn't get any new cards, which is a bit... Oh, I keep forgetting. Wrong button for open. So, so far, still not worth it. I'm hoping we see a new card in here. 
Oh, one new card. Double edge. Inflict six damage to target combat and suffer two damage. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, how... <laughs> How how come the okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they have a raider card that basically reduces your HP to zero, or you have one that for one rank in it it does six deal two. Oh. Like that's so much better than the other card. I know the other one's better at draining your HP, but in terms of like actually being usable, that's so much better. Anyway, we'll back out. We'll open more of these. Hoping the hoping the golden packs have something I don't have. Oh, new cards. Life exchange. Swap all HP info of two targets. Oh, I think this was the card I was looking for. So I think we could do one arena challenge now. I think this was the one that I was looking for. Got another long fang. Another angelic champion. Nice. Yeah, the, the, the free pathing to allies didn't work for me. D I, maybe it just means other friendly units. Truly really sucks if that's true. Because I was like, oh, Warden gets an alternate means of movement. That's nice. And it's like, nope. So two gemstones out of that. Nothing interesting from this. This will be mostly shards. So again, this should pay for our next trinket pretty easy. So at least we could say we're near the end of the game when we get like 7,000 plus in a pool. I could technically upgrade them, I just don't care. Casting a negative effect card purchase self. Interesting. Don't think I really want it though. So we still have a couple of more adventures to go. Hmm. So I guess the question is... What is the reward for completing all of these things? Is it like actually a good warding card or is it just garbage? <laughs> I'm just curious. Cause that uh the the don't take damage one was pretty horrendous. Good, you're pretty good at embodying the philosophy of our archetype. Consider me impressed. Welcome Black Spidey. How goes the deck building? Uh we ran a long stalemate with the boss, but we eventually drew out of it. This is for you. Hard work must be rewarded. At the end of turn, gain immune one, charge, cast the warden card. That is actually stupid. That is actually stupid. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, hold on. I might need to I might need to rethink a warden tier list. So every time I cast a card, I get immunity for the end of the turn. How do you die? Just, if all you do is play Warden cards, you're just immune the whole run? Because immune one means it's immune for one turn, not one attack, not one status ailment. It's until your next turn. That is, uh... I'm gonna say worth it. So hey, if you like Warden, you, you, literally, you literally can't die. <laughs> just play a single card a turn and you could be immune to damage for 80 turns. You two could dominate everything. So, what does that leave for us for next time? Reach the bottom of Dune Floor in less than 60 combat turns. Reach the bottom of Magma 4 while exploring all rooms while equip only Traveler. I mean, we're gonna do the Traveler one last because we didn't play through Magma City yet. So, really, the question is how am I gonna do the final challenge quest? Defeat the Guardian of the Glacial Library in two combat turns. We saw that as possible. We technically have already done it, but we didn't have the quest active. But the first one I'm confused about. Just chilling for the night, says Black Spidey. That's good to hear. I mean, I could complete Way of the Stranger. We did dominate a lot of these quests. I have to say, I'm not looking forward to playing as the Raider again. They're just... Hmm. Hmm. How can I do 60 direct damage? That's the question. Okay, let's let's look at how the game defines direct damage, and maybe that'll assuage my concerns about the impossibility of this challenge. Is it select? Alright, so I want to see what the game considers direct damage.
projectiles count. That's good. So it's anything that's targeted or a projectile. Okay, that opens it up a little bit more. I love that I could probably do it with Pounce. Inflict up to 10 instances of 1 damage to target combat unit. That's actually hilarious. Pay to win right there. Heal all units in the area, then fire shot that inflicts damage based on the healing done. Well, I can't do- well, I would love to do that attack for it, but... 60 damage in one turn. So four Heaven Lances is only 40 damage. So... How does this work? Does it allow me to splash for the challenge? If I can splash for the challenge, I have an idea. Okay. So I can splash for the challenge. Okay. Hmm. And the interesting thing is... The interesting thing is that, uh... Well, one, it doesn't seem to go up in general, so I'm surprised that doesn't say, like, 166 out of 60. But I wonder if I can get away with this by splashing Traveler. I'm just thinking about it. I want to test something real quick to see if it counts. So we're going to save this deck. This deck was decent. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We're going to get rid of Shield Bash before we save, because that is a terrible, terrible card. Uh, get rid of... Sh well, Shield Bash has a use if they have Shield, but... It's fine. We'll, we'll skip it. I would rather have... Another Harmful Bless, to be honest. Are there any other things I could add? Another crater? Are there any other devices I could use? Not really. Oh, another magma moat. And you know what? We'll do... One tangle thorn. And then I can remove the awful shield parts for the most part. Honestly, I'm going to reduce Castle down a little bit. Castle is somewhat useful for triggering the Stalagmite, so it's not completely useless. I think it's a little overrated. I'm going to get rid of Tetherweb. That, that was terrible, actually. So we'll do something like this. Just max that. Get another Tangled Thorn. Get another Crater, because it's like Castle, but damaging. And then I'll, I'll keep it as it is, I guess. Yeah, that should be fun. Okay, so we're we're gonna test something real quick to see how the game tracks this. So if we take a look at our relics, the end of turn destroy enemies with one HP that aren't at max HP. Interesting. Is there anything that improves damage? Petrify. I'm not sure if it increases our damage or not. I don't think it does. I think it just leaves them killable. Hmm. The healing all gizmos by one would have been really useful earlier. End of turn, retaliate, charge, suffer damage from an attack. But, but if you don't have damage immunity, why would you want to do this? No, I'm looking for something simpler. So every time I play a card, I deal one damage to everything near me. Man, even beginner recast? That's such a terrible charging condition. And even the relic sucks, chat. I'm disappointed. <laughs> um, and a turn hit all enemies for one damage. That sounds kind of fun. That's like a more boss version of what I'm using. Interesting. Suffer double damage? No. Well, faltering game plus one AP. No. 
Next turn, get retaliate for each charge. Kill an enemy with an attack. Uh. Gain one AP after canceling a recast. Would this be good enough by itself? All right, let, let's let's think about this for a little bit. I'm just trying to theory craft. So let's clear our runes out. Place them with Raider equivalency so I can see the Raider cards real quick. So I don't really care about disease. I would probably want immunity to sleep still. Probably improve the number of cards I can draw. So what is the best theoretical damage I could do? Limit Breaker when I'm low on health hits four times. So this would still only do eight damage. So there, our most damaging move so far is still Heaven's Lance. I don't think anything comes close. And most of these are like units in an area, so these are also not useful for the challenge. So if I somehow played six cards, I would win the challenge. Is it possible to do this? So how would I play six cards? That's the question I'm asking myself right now. I think I would have to splash... I'd have to splash another color if it's allowed. I don't technically need rank 5. I could get away with rank 4. So let's let's theory craft it a little. So if I if I make this for example traveler, does this enable my ability to get a million AP? Yes or no? Let's find out. Sort of. Discard gain an initiative. Energy Needle being discarded for 1 AP is kind of huge. I might be able to do it with Energy Needle. So I need a lot of card draw. Hmm. Let me think. I don't think the Curio is good enough here. The re There's not enough recasts, I think, for it to be useful. Is there some way I can get additional AP? I don't care about card draw, I think. I think I just need AP. Start a turn, gain 3 AP. Trigger with precision. So it's possible, it's possible with just this curio, I could get what I need for the challenge. Because then I have six actions, I could do 60 damage. If I wound something while low on health, it might do enough damage to the bosses. But that's like a big maybe. Copy a mimicry. It's possible Clean Mirror would also do what I need it to do. Because Mimicry would let me... That Mimicry would solve my hand problem. So now if I... I wonder if this is good enough. If I mimic my cards and dump enough of them with the other ability, can I one-shot? Welcome, welcome. It's going okay. I'm doing a little bit of theory crafting. I'm thinking about what would be the best way to do 60 damage. I think it might be clean mirror plus... Do I go another traveler? And I want to test it in a moment. So if I get two in traveler, what does that open up for me? It does give me shuriken. But 
But that's not good enough. We, it needs to be more AP than that, I think. Yeah. I think I would need energy needle. I would have to gather all my energy needles and dump them, but I'd still have to draw a card somehow. Oh, that's that's just a rough. <sighs> All right, so let let's let's change the number of cards I can draw. I think that would be more useful. So I want to test something in the practice dungeon. I'm gonna bring in five. Oh, I can only have four by default. That's right. Four of these. Four of these. Getting rid of this lets me draw a card. That's what I want. Uh, anything else for utility? If I can get the cross hit, draw five is pretty huge. I could take in some very simple hook shots because they have a big mobility problem. So let's say I do this. Can I then fill up the rest of my hand to do massive damage is the question. Suffer and flick one to target unit for each card in hand double. So if I have more than five raider cards, that would also make it more doable. So I think you need five or four of these. Is there anything else that's like big damage? Uh, Need brilliant arrow for sure. Like damage to all units in area based on number of units in the area. We'll take some of these. Giant Slayer is huge. We need that. Hmm. Like two damage to a target combat unit and then teleport. We'll do one of these. Hmm. So the problem is that there's not really a big damage payoff if I don't go five ranks. I could devotion this. Devotion to copy more cards into my hand. Then the only thing we really need is to jettison cards to get AP. Maybe this will work? I need more red cards to balance the ratio a little better. It's possible wounding would be useful. Hmm. Probably a couple desperate bursts. I could get rid of Hook to some extent. It's not like I super need it. As long as I get the, the Lightning Bash, I think that's fine. Get rid of one cross cut to reduce the odds of drawing a green card. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of Ziggledees. Thank you for watching. Hmm. Take a reckless charge in there for sure. So now I'm kind of curious. Because I could potentially duplicate jettisons. I'm assuming this will work. So let's, let's test this real quick to see how it looks. We'll get rid of one of these cards because I don't think it super matters. One of these. So curiosity, if we go to the basic dungeon, can we set up something sick? And that's the last thing I want to test tonight. Since people are here, I might as well just continue further. Just a very simple dungeon. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't really bother me. I'm just more curious how out of control I can try to make Raider by splashing. Ooh. 
so the goal is to get two of these in your hand. So you could discard two of these to get more AP. So we do... We don't even need to enter ourselves with the combo, which is kind of funny. The downside of drawing them also means that... I don't really get to do anything more fun with them afterwards. Be the last card that was cast. Ah, uh, so that would let me do my strategy then. Okay, so it would in theory be possible. Because then I could get AP with green cards. Reduce my health to basically nothing. So right now, this would deal potentially 12. Interesting. And we could get it back. Now I have Grit, which is what we wanted. Wish I had a slightly better move. I guess I could recast. So then I could just... Let, let's do this first. That way I have a chance of surviving. So then I have a Mimicry again. So I think you can hit me as is. So I need to move over and then do this. So this is how I would get enough cards, and then my jettison would mean that I would have enough to do this. I think this is doable then, to do 60 damage. I just have to find a boss I can reach. <laughs> like, I feel bad for whatever boss I'm gonna hit, but I mean like, so I have 10 damage, 10 damage. This would be, well, it's gonna go up because I'm gonna cast additional spells, but like I can do this, for example, to kill them. That did 12, then I can dupe the card. Then I could dupe the card again. And that solves all of their problems for damage. This one mirror makes this deck really stupid. And then I jettison whatever I don't need. So like right now, if it counts those red cards as being in my hand, I would deal 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14, 12, 10. So I'd do 30. So right now I do 50 damage. And I've only set up in one room. That's very interesting. So like in theory, I would want to duplicate a jettison at some point as well. So that way I could get guaranteed jettison when I need it. I mean, it makes it more fun. I'll give them that. Ooh, they're in a way that I can't really benefit from this attack. Hmm. I'm gonna burn the card to charge the Curio, and then I'm gonna jettison. I think that's the smart play. I'm gonna back up. That way I could keep the jettison forever without it counting towards my hand size. So I could get rid of these. Because they're not as useful. And see with that... I would have been able to do... Yeah, I would have had 6 AP. And I would get 6 casts. So, like, right now, I could have done 60 damage, potentially, with what we have in our hand. Because it would have been 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So, 16, 14, 12, 10. So, that's 40. And two fire shots? So, we literally would have beaten the challenge right now if I was at a boss. So, that is not too hard to set up, to be honest with you. That was not that hard.
And we still get to draw cards because most of those aren't considered in my hand. So our max... <laughs> I was gonna say, our max damage could go up because we'd have more fodder. Uh, I probably want to... Take a safety heal. I would like to do a little bit of damage here. We should... Okay, so this would have been 70 damage. This would have been the hand that would have been like, GG. I think this hand would kill every boss in the game. I'm pretty sure. 70 damage. Molt and AoE is in there. Disgusting amounts of damage. Absolutely disgusting amounts of damage. Even if they had stealth, I could just shoot them out with Brilliant Arrow. So this alone, I think, is over 70. And we could still get more, technically. Uh, the only thing I have in question is... If you come over here... We drew yet another card, which is really funny to me. So now we can Curio. So if I just back up two spaces, I can dupe yet another damage card. So I don't even need the other card where we copy from the bottom of the library. Mimicry actually were <laughs> I actually drew all four of my Brilliant Arrows, that's funny. So yeah, our potential damage with this is really stupid if we could get away with it. And it's not as hard as it seems. Yeah, the only question I have is if those cards in the extra count towards the damage that we could deal with this total. I could copy more cards. Sure. Whoa, wow. <laughs> this is the strongest raider has ever been, and it's because we Splash Traveler. Of course it is. Holy. This opens up like a new way of playing the game. What can they do? Look at this. I can I could draw another card. Disgusting. Sure, let's get rid of this card. Because, you know, we don't need it. And then I can dupe the jettison, right? Yeah. So we can have more AP if I really need it. It's really gross. So right now I could end up with like 8 AP. I, I just want to hit a slime once. And this will be my test. If this does more than 10 damage by like a lot, that tells me that we could really break the game. So let's come over here. Humor me game. So normally this would be a bad play, but I want to see the damage. Ooh, there we go. There we go. We thought about how to do 60 damage. <laughs> so it's possible. It's possible right now I could do 60 damage in this very dungeon. That is disgusting. I don't want to duplicate that card, though. So. Yeah, we just need to keep duping the other card. Um, pick up over here. So if I just keep duping red cards, I'm good. Because it doesn't matter what they are, they they just add to the damage we deal. Huh. <laughs> right, chat? Huh. Wait a minute. I could do 60 damage in one move. A another jettison. Gross. <laughs> so now at this point, funny enough, the Brilliant Arrows are too weak because we have so many of these cards. It doesn't matter. I forgot to do the challenge. That's fine. I was getting excited. So maybe I could just do the challenge right now. I just need a stronger enemy. So if I jettison, I could 
do 20, 40, 60. I could do 60 damage right now. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, and if you spawn another character, I definitely... Well, no, I can't because you might kill the ally that's near us. Okay, let me think about this. So, I if I get rid... If I jettison... the best way to do this I need to get close so I can do 20 40 60 if I have three targets the problem is the beetle the beetle will potentially kill me also I healed myself which was stupid so I need to get injured again um let's have them injure us a little bit yeah this is fine This actually kind of works. I just wish I could have duped another thing. I can injure myself further if I need to. I could put myself at one and then I would die. I'd prefer for that to not happen for the obvious reasons. 20... Okay, so I only need to hit with three attacks to kill for 60 damage. So I think I still have this. All I gotta do is jettison. So I need to... Let me think. If I could get one more no quarter, that would also work. I mostly just, if the beetle wasn't here, I actually would have been done this turn. I, I have to think because the beetle's here. Like, I don't want to actually kill the beetle, but the beetle is in the way. I guess I could try to hit the beetle now. And then kill the two slimes that form afterwards. Maybe that would work. Let's go for it. Oh, it doesn't have range for it. So I would have to kill the beetle like this, which would not be good enough. Okay, then let me jettison this card. We could do 10 damage here. And then I could do... It just really depends on what the game... Oh, see that? Okay, Let, let's hold off into another room then. It, it completely depends on what the game considers direct damage. This is the problem. I want to dupe a card, but I can't. I'm not going to do enough. If I kill, I can recast. Which is fine. This is actually fine. Let's do this. Then I can injure myself more. Then I can dupe the card that we just got rid of. And now I can keep my damage. Okay, this is good. So if we have one more room, we just need a big slime or three enemies. Neither is fun. We drew another card. We got another one of these. And now I can do this. And potentially dupe another card, which is huge, actually. Do I kill him? E no. Can I still mimicry is the question. I can. Okay. So I think this should make up the damage difference of the first no quarter not being good enough. And then we can get to grit without wasting anything, which would be huge. So I, I want this thing to injure me more. So then what I can do is do this. I just need to take one more point of damage. Oh, the beetle. The beetle is the problem yet again. All right, we got to go towards the beetle. If we could get close enough to the slime, we could... The slime counts as three targets. I think I could kill it. The sad part is we'll probably die immediately after doing the challenge. That's fine. I think this works. Now, if I kill you here, I get another mimicry. 
which would actually be huge. Question though, when I look at the thing, okay, so it does count it as one damage. I want to shoot a projectile just to know, but I'm I don't want to risk it right now. Let's move here, so that way next turn we should get what we need in one try. I think this will work, and I can draw another card here, I believe. Oh no, I can't. Okay. So I'm at grit. So this should do an insane amount of damage. And then I can jettison one of the other cards, and this should work. 28 damage is huge. Let's take a look at the challenge. It counted. So I could do it again. Before I do that, let's jettison... Actually, can I mimicry something useful? I could get another one of these back. Okay, let's do that then. And let us jettison our claw and our melee. That way we minimize the amount of cards we lose. Then I move forward. Then I can jettison the jettison. Actually, before I do that. Why can I not just discard one card? Why is it why is it fighting me? Just 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 that card. It's fine. I don't it said up to two. Why do I have to select two? I mean, I could do it. It's going to lower my damage slightly, which has me a bit concerned. Um, I need to do quick math here. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. I don't know if that's enough. I have to do math. I have to do... Maybe I could do one strike before I jettison for more damage? So now I just need to do 10 damage, right? To do it? Or I just need to do 8. Oh yeah, that's fine. Then I can jettison my other shots. Now we can do massive damage. So I should pass the goal now. We did it. Okay, that, that was kind of an interesting puzzle. I'm like, wait a minute. When I realized I could dupe cards, we're good. Right, so now I just need to not die. <laughs> I, I hope I could do this without dying. We'll find out. I could dupe another claw. I don't think I want to. Let's do this just to clear them. So it did three damage because there were three targets. That is actually a really good Raider card. That is an unfortunate spawn position. That is a really unfortunate spawn position. I don't have a good way of shooting this target. Um, uh, I'm going to hope that this works as intended. It does not. It does not do that. That is really, really, really unfortunate. I love that I'm going to die even though I have so many powerful cards. Thanks, Raider. That is not good enough. I don't think I'm dead yet, but it's not looking good. I didn't realize it was only three tiles. I guess I should have read the description. So... I guess I gotta go over here. Awkward. On the plus side, we beat the challenge no matter what. Really? Did he really put it in like the only spot that would kill me? That is that is actually amazing, chat. I'm gonna give it to the AI. It I, I I'm actually dead. I can't do anything. That's so sad. <laughs> I could do 60 damage in one turn, but I can't move. Yeah, I thought the dash would go through him, 
but apparently it's more like a projectile, which I wish the game told me. So normally if you dash into something, you dash through it. So like the zip dash or like the rapid zip dash or uh, shoulder bash, all of those at least hit the target and move forward, but I wasn't even given the option to do it. So anyway, I think this is GG. Uh, I got outplayed. Congratulations, you defeated me. But I think we beat the challenge, so I don't really care. Yeah, I beat the challenge. I I'm okay with that. I'll consider that a win. Listen, basic starter pack, who cares? 72 damage in one turn, didn't even need a boss. Godlike. So I guess... I deal them in two turns while only equipping Raider cards. Okay, so I need a version of this with only Raider cards, and we can set up for that next time. So let, let's deck your eyes. So this deck actually wasn't bad. Its problem was that it has no mobility, and that's just classic Raider problems. So I think if I had to fix that, I would probably add in a rocket jump. Um, I would like a shield breaker to get rid of their immunities. Desperate Burst is okay. I mostly just need Storm Runner, I think, to fix some of the uh, movement. Um, we'll, we'll bring it up to 50 cards instead of 40. There should be a couple of other simple mobility cards. Bolt Smite is okay. I mean, I need something that's like a guaranteed move. Um... Oh, I don't really have those. I guess I could just add in more rocket jumps then. So more rocket jumps and one more alternate card. Flush hand and inflict damage to target based on discard amount. Discard copy two sparks. I could do that in theory. Might honestly just add the energy needle because it's funny. Do I have a better projectile I could use? Probably a, a good AoE, like Divine Cross, just to make it a bit more even. So I'll actually save this deck. This deck actually is not bad. And we had something similar anyway for our melee build, so that's fine. I don't really care about the other one. This one I would genuinely p consider. So if we had to do this with, like, all Raider, we lose our AP, but we do gain limit breaker which is actually really good definitely not cloud strife there don't know what you're talking about uh can add in more heaven lances uh eye of the storm i think is important to get like four damage on any unit sending a target position and all units around her hit for one damage place magma in the targeted area eruption i think is pretty good like six damage divine among units in an area i think we'll get two of those I wish I just had more movement abilities. Get a couple more massive AoEs. I think we'll solve some of our problems. A couple more regular AoEs. And then... What else could I do? Downpour is always interesting. Get a couple of those. So the goal is to basically duplicate the entire length of the dungeon with mimicry. But then, I don't know how I'm going to kill them in two turns. Because nothing in their card pool is free. That's their big problem. So I could do 60 damage, potentially, with enough, enough Mimic cards. Mimicry also means that I can duplicate my uh, movement abilities over time. And as I said before, technically... Oh, actually, Limit Breaker would mean that I would probably get through... Yeah, limit. if I duplicated Limit Breaker, that would actually be huge. If I managed to get two Limit Breakers, for example. Because that would get through their multiple life bars, I think. So the only thing we really need to do is make sure Giant Slayer is there. Hmm... I guess I would still be more concerned with AP than mimicking the cards. 
don't know. I'm just trying to think what would be easier. Like mimicry would get rid of the RNG, but then I would be worried I don't have any I don't have any ways to get AP with Raider, which sucks. I wish there was also like a rune that gave AP. I mean I guess I could double check just to make sure there isn't. And that'll be absolutely the final thing that I'm gonna do. I'm glad I got that challenge in one try though. I just had to think about it. Mimicry OP. The downside though is that bosses don't care about dealing 20 damage, they care about multi-hitting for big damage. So it's, it, that same strategy will not work on the boss. Yeah, none of these give me what I'm looking for. Immunity of Petrify, I guess, is for the final dungeon. I guess I could technically purchase that if I want to. Don't feel like it, though. Hmm. So I'm just thinking one last thing with it. Is there anything I wanted to try with the deck that would fix it? So 4 AP would be fine, because then I could move into position. The problem is, like, how do you... Like, even if I can attack six times, because it is six health bars... How could I do enough damage? If I can wound it somehow... What? What is Spark again? Oh, it's a two damage shot. Eh, it's not worth it. Dash placing electric field in for two to make things no recast. Oh, there's another charge move. I'll add those. Yeah, anything that gives mobility to the build is kind of huge. Yeah, basically the, the intent is that I would just draw devotion over and over and over again, and if I drew it, it would be over. I guess the question is more, what other rune could I do that would be more useful? I could do the draw more of the same card thing. Or just hold, actually probably holding more cards would be useful, because then I can blow through them. I think that would make the deck a bit more consistent. And then I could do... As I said before, Devotion would work. The problem is drawing into Devotion, so maybe I need to go down a couple of spells. Get rid of a couple AoEs that I don't necessarily need. Echo Slam is really good. Limit Break... I think might be worth... Might be worth duplicating for the raider to make them less miserable. If it lets me, I would spend gems on that, because that one actually seems genuinely strong. Looks like I can't duplicate it, that's sad. Yeah, I could duplicate everything else, just not Limit Breaker. That's a shame. Like, burn 5 to target mobs, suffer 1 burn. Oh, please, no. Unless it was, like, up here and I missed it. I didn't see it offhand. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's, like, I have to keep playing down to the point where I can do Devotions to copy the cards. I can get away without mimicries. It's just that having those... Uh, I guess it matters more in this kind of deck for me to have more AP than it is to duplicate the cards. Like, I'll, I'll eventually get enough cards with Devotion, but I might still need to move kinds of deals. Mixed mixed feelings on it. it. I think it still relies a little bit too much on RNG, but not much I can really do about that. So we have our oops all melee build. Um, anything I wanted to get rid of? Probably our fling. I could get rid of this one safely. So I'm going to try one thing in the training hall. I don't want to do a whole map. I just want to see something.
Yeah, see, drawing seven cards here means I'm probably not going to get mobility screwed as often. So it's possible that this is just good enough on its own. I think having Storm Runner is a good alternative. Oh, Heaven Heaven's Lance is a close range AoE. Okay, got it. Then I can force my hand to draw. And this should probably work, as I said before. If if I'm allowed to duplicate cards, then obviously I can hold on to some pretty powerful options as needed. Maybe this is the way to play it with Raider. Giant Slayer is good enough to kill most things instantly, and it's mobility. We got some Rocket Jump to get in better position. So Rocket Jump alone would put me in position for the boss. I don't even care if it doesn't do big damage to the boss. That alone would be the only skill we need. So I think having like 15 or 20 mobility cards and the rest being high damage with some small ability to dupe my own cards. I think we could do the challenge next time. Yeah, like that, for example, would have been like an amazing pool for me in the other dungeon. Downpour can be sometimes useful, but I don't want to have a whole ton of them. Okay. I think this deck will work next time. It, it does what I think it does. With enough devotions... It makes up for their lack of card draw. It's just I wish they had something for AP as well. Okay, chat. So let's take a break here. We did a quite late stream. Let's chat about how we feel things win. Well, aside from some early technical issues uh, where some of the settings got reset, I think the runs went really well. I had a bit of a sloppy play on the uh, winning without taking damage. I definitely could have had it maybe about like 25 minutes earlier, but I think we learned more about the different types of enemies, so I don't feel like it was a total waste of time. We did get decks out of it. We did get shards. We did get uh, keepsakes or curios or whatever they call them. I think are curios in this game. Um, and then we did the we did the 60 damage challenge, which was really easy with Mimicry, because I always knew Mimicry was OP because I played Oracle. I just didn't really think about how ludicrous it would be after three rooms. So the only thing I learned is Mimicry broken. I'm almost wondering if I should just put Mimicry in my Traveler deck just so I have more cards. <laughs> I'm genuinely thinking that, that I don't need to draw more cards with Traveler. I just need to play more Mimicry. I'm really wondering if that's the power play. That way I can have like 30 cards for the boss. Because their big issue is that they burn out really quick. They can play their entire hand and then they're like done. But now I have a way of potentially adding more cards. So that way it gives them longevity and it means that I don't burst and lose everything at once. It might be worth playing with the, the mimicry. Maybe. I'll think about it. But I think, chat, I don't have too much else to add. Hopefully you enjoyed the challenge completions today. We got uh, three challenges done. And we have... We're going to hopefully get the raider done in one try. We technically already did this challenge, as a reminder. I'm very sad. We walk up, we clipped it, I wombo comboed the boss. The boss died because I had 4 AP, 4 AP, and it was just over. So I'm hoping doing the same thing, being able to move into position... Uh, will get us through five or six health bars with eight AP. I think is a realistic expectation, especially if I could dupe some high damage cards. So hopefully we can keep a strong draw for the final boss and or keep them with devotion. So we have several rooms in order to hopefully acquire maybe six to eight really strong boss kill cards and then hopefully complete the challenge in one try. But again, uh, dependent on RNG. So we'll see where it goes. 
But I think other than that chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again next time.